uh, George Pickens. Yeah. How does that start? Like, where's the fandom? Easy. It, it, it's funny. People don't, like, obviously they don't know because it's me, but he's such, it, people don't get this. Like, I love, t- trust me, I do like Pickens a lot, but it's mostly because for me, he's easy to edit. Does Burgess have a Pickens jersey? I do not. What? I know. We are here in Connecticut with my boy Burgess Prod. What up? Appreciate <laughs> you joining. Thank you. We are going to interview him, talk about his editing style. We're going to get some fan questions at the end of the video, so make sure to watch it to the very end. And it's going to be good. Let's get it. We're going to start off with this first question because everybody has been asking, like, how did you start doing content? Oh, that we're going with the pickings. Um, <laughs> so you want the long story or short story? Because I got like, it's like kind of both. I'll give you a little middle. So in late 2019, I was in college my freshman year, and I had no idea what to do. I, would, I mean, I was like a business major, but I wasn't really business. Like, I don't even know anything about business. So I was just kind of like, whatever, going to class, waking up, going to class, waking up. And then one day I, I would scroll, like I'd scroll on Instagram and I saw, um, you know, Thunder Prod? Yeah. I saw him. And then I literally remember the next video. It was just in my feed. Like I didn't follow him yet. My next feed was a dude that I know now that filmed in Connecticut. So like sports, sports video, videography. So I was like, hmm. So I watched his videos, went to his page, went through his page. And stupidly, I never, I mean, Saying it now is funny, but I was like, oh, I can do this. Like, I was like, this is easy, but it's not easy. But I was like, this is easy. So I literally remember going home that weekend, telling my mom I'm buying a camera. <laughs> All my money, I had no money. <laughs> Bought like a $600 Nikon camera. And I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna start filming sports. And I remember my first video was my brother. He was a high school freshman. So I filmed him terrible. I mean, terrible, shaky. I stood in one spot on the ground. I was on the ground filming with my friend to my right because I was so awkward because it's so weird when you start filming like you don't know what to do who to go like it's just so weird so I literally stayed for me so I stayed in one spot filmed the whole game in one spot he didn't do anything he had actually a terrible game made a mix to I forget the song Ah, I wish I remember the song but I forget the song made a mix thought it was nice I remember debating I made it in one night in like it took me probably like five hours um I made it literally one night Posted it, made my whole, I, I was going to post on my main, like my like regular page, Instagram page that I had my whole life, but I was like, I should make another page. So the first, no one knows this, the first name I had was, oh, this seems so funny. It, I think it was you wilding for that productions. I don't ask why I did that. I don't know. I forget why. It was like an inside joke for some of my friends, but that's what my first name was. And then I scrapped it like 30 minutes later. I was like, oh, I'm changing it. I was like, what should I do? And I was like. I'll go with Burgess because that's my, it was my nickname like for the last couple of years. And I was like, I'll do that. And then I went with Burgess Prod, looking back on it, wish I just stuck with Burgess, but I went with Burgess Prod because of Thunder Prod. Because I saw he had Thunder Prod. I was like, oh, why does he have Prod? I was like, well, he has Prod, so I got to have Prod. Like, you know what I mean? I was just kind of like, when you're starting out, you're not really, you don't know what to do. So I was just kind of like following his wave. And um, so I made that. I remember I posted it, thought it was nice. Got like 11 comments from just like friends and like, People lying, saying it was good. Um, and then I remember from there, I, I, I went back to college because I would come home on the weekend. So I would like, because I was in like, it was like two hours away from my house. So I would go to college, then sometimes come back to film because I didn't have a car. So I would like literally go back and forth. My grandma would pick me up sometimes. I'd take up like, you know, I'd find my ways home. Then I'd film high school games. So I remember like some other, like one big game that stands out was like a, a private school game where I filmed just randomly. I mean, I didn't know anyone on the team. I just knew they were playing. I was like, I'll go. And I would always, it's funny looking back at it, like now I film alone and stuff when I film, but I would bring a friend because I literally didn't know what to do. Like I would just stand on the end zone and just film. And I, um, I made a mix to like that. Um, that one got a little traction from like the players. Like they would be like, oh, this is pretty cool. It wasn't like looking back at it again, it wasn't cool. They were literally lying. But, but at the time, maybe they thought it was cool because they're on camera. Cause it wasn't really that big. Like 2019, it's not like it is today where like literally you ask like go to a high school everyone's filming like there's people that want to be actual like filmers and like in that when i was starting at least around me no one was doing it so it was like only a couple people so yeah i mean i i from then on i started filming i'd go back to college and then football season ended and i'd film like maybe a couple games nothing crazy 
like I said, some players would like reach out and be like, oh, this is cool, whatever, but nothing crazy. And then I remember I was bored and I was like, well, I should start editing too. Like, not just my footage, it was just to get better. Like, I should try to like do something sports related. And I lo always loved football. So I remember I used to edit. So I started editing on iMovie first. Then I switched to Premiere and I hated Premiere. Like, dude, I was like afraid of, like, I didn't want to open Premiere. Like, my, like some of my friends know because like they dorm with me. Like, I, I was not a fan of Premiere. I'd stress about it. I'm like, I'm not opening Premiere. Like, I, I just don't want to learn it. And I finally like, sat down and actually just kept doing it and kept learning it. And eventually I got the hang of it. It's because it's not that hard. But I eventually got the hang of it, knew my way around it. And then, um, and then yeah, I mean, from then on, I, so I started editing sports reels. I would start with, like, I think my first sport video was, like, probably Steelers related. I, ironically, I think it was a Devin Bush video. I'm pretty positive it was Devin Bush because he was having a year in 2019. So, and then, he, yeah. But... So I started with him, and then I went to, I remember, I think it was January, or I think it was beginning of 2020, and I made a Steeler hype video. I don't remember why, because they weren't that good that year, but I made a hype video for some reason. I could probably find it, but I made a hype video for some reason, um, and I remember going to sleep. I posted it. It was with uh, the Kanye song. Um, Oh my gosh. All the lights? No, uh, it's like the, uh, I'm not going to remember the name. You can put it in like the bottom. I'll give it to you after. <laughs> but I made that mix. And I remember I went to bed, woke up, my phone was below. I've never had my phone blow up like that. Like it was like Instagram. Like I literally woke up and it was 99 plus Instagram. I was like, what the hell? I was like, what did I post? Like I forgot almost. And I was like nervous. I was like, what did I post? So I went on Instagram and it got picked up by like every Steeler fan account. And like those guys are like, Still, the I mean, they, they, those guys helped me. One guy in particular, I forget his name, of course I do, but he helped me out a lot. Like, he literally was like, just, you're like, that's a fire video, just keep going. Because at the time, I was like, no idea what's good or not. So they all picked it up. They liked it. It did well. I forget how well it did. Like, to now, it's funny. Like, it's probably not as well it is, like, to what my well is now. But at the time, it was, like, really good for me. And I remember going to class. I couldn't even sit in class. Like, I was like, dude, what, I, what am I doing? Like, I want to look at my phone every minute. <laughs> And I remember all the DMs from like all like Steeler fans. Like they thought I was like a Steeler account, but I wasn't like, that wasn't my goal. <laughs> so I would get these like messages and like, and stuff. And then um, it was getting to the playoffs. It was, or no, yes, yeah, so it was like early January. And then I, I went home that weekend and this was crazy. I, at the time, this was crazy. I get a DM and I remember seeing it thinking, all right, let me retract. I was in college first. I got the DM, then I went home. So I was in college. It was like a Thursday. And I remember I was sitting in my dorm room and I remember I swiped. And I saw the ver verified notification or verified like whatever. I was like, what? And I saw Joe Hayden. And I was like, and I remember my roommate was like right there. I was like, dude, I just got a DM from Joe Hayden. And he was like, are you sure it's not fake? I'm like, dude, he has to ver it's verified. Like he's not fake. So I remember I clicked on it and it was like, yo, that video, that Steeler video was dope. Can you make me one? Dude, I was like, what? I was like, me? Like you want me to make you one? <laughs> like I was like, are you sure? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I got you. And he was like, same song. So I was like, all right, cool. So I used the Kanye song. Literally made it right then and there. Like, he, like, said it. I just got to work. I went from every... I was in, like, Steeler Instagram. I was Steeler YouTube. I was finding every clip I could find. And I remember I made it. And, like, looking back on it, it's so bad. Like, it's crazy that I sent that to him. and was like, use this. And he did. And I remember I made it. And it was, like, lights flashing everywhere. Like, overlaid really bad. It was dark. One part was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. But the sound effects were messed up. Like, I messed up the, late, uh, the hit sound. And, um... But yeah, so I gave it to him and then he, he asked for my cash app. I was like, what? I was like, you're gonna pay me for making this? <laughs> I was like, sure. So I gave it to him and he sent me like 300. And I was like, right then I was like, I might have something. Like I was like, like if that never happened, I don't know where I'd be because that gave me like the confidence to kind of like, oh, I can do like, if Joe Hayden likes it, someone's gonna like, like someone's gonna like it. So right then and there, I mean, I, he posted it. My friends were going, like, we were all hyped. Like not like hype, but it was cool. It was like Joe Hayden. Like, and he was talking to me. Like it was like a normal, I was like, damn, these guys are really just guys. Like, that's when I also clicked when I'm like, oh, these guys are just guys. Like, they're not, like, above, you know what I mean? They're not above you or anything. So, so I remember I went home, told everyone it was cool. And I remember J.C. Jackson reached out to me after. I don't know if anyone knows who that is. No disrespect to J.C. Jackson. I think he got paid pretty well, actually, recently. But, um, yeah. I felt like charged or something. But uh, he was on the Pats at the time. And he's like, yo, can you make me, like, a mix? I was like, sure. And then I remember, dude, this is so bad. He was, it was so, like, I forget the song, but I, I just didn't. It wasn't like the same feeling. Like, I didn't really like it as I liked Joe Hayden's, but he liked it. It was trash. I sent it to him. He didn't pay me, which was fine. I didn't ask for money, but it's like weird going from like Joe Hayden to him. And I'm like, 
damn, Joe Hayden, baby. <laughs> but, but it was fine. And then I remember literally two weeks later, the Steelers were going. They didn't make the playoffs that year. That was 2020. Um, I think they missed the playoffs. Yeah, 2019, that was Ben's hurt, hurt year. Yeah. Um, but he sent me <clears throat> another DM. He's like, yo, can you get this for the last game? Like another mix. I was like, yeah, I just, I used everything. Like, I don't have anything else. You didn't do anything crazy the last, like, week. But I'm like, yeah, sure. So I made, um, I forget what song I used, something I didn't really like. I think it was, I forget, but, of course I'm forgetting. But, um, but I sent to him, and then he wanted a change. But he already paid me. He's like, yo, can you do it again? Just redo it. And, like, I was like, sure. But at the time, I was like, no. Like, I don't know how to do that. Like, I can't just, like, redo my whole mix. But I did. And then he sent me another 100. So he sent me 400 for that one. So I made like 700 off Joe Hayden in like two weeks. And for me at that time, I was like, dude, 700 for editing a video. So I was like, yeah, I'm locked in. So after that, and then COVID hit. And then was like literally a blessing. Obviously, it's terrible that COVID hit for a lot of people. But like for me, it literally locked me in my room and I was working. Like that was all I was doing. I was, once COVID had moved back home, that was like March. So from like March to the end of the year, I was in my room or outside running or lifting or whatever, in my room editing, outside, like that was all I was doing. Literally day in and day out, like up till 3 a.m., going to bed, waking up up to 3 a.m. So I just kept doing that. I kept editing. I kept making Instagram uh, mixes, just random for players to see if they see it. Nothing on TikTok yet, or YouTube actually, and, and I was just Instagram. I, like a thou- I remember I hit 1,000 followers like late in 2020, and I was hype. That was mm-hmm. hype. And then, because I gained a bunch for my sealer guys. And then they all unfollowed because I didn't want to post in sealer content. <laughs> so, like, I got it back to 1,000, or I got to 1,000. It was like a Jamal Adams mix. And then I remember in 2021, my brother was like, you should start posting on TikTok. I was like, well, I tried, but I'd get copyrighted because I would be posting, like, mixes, and they just didn't do well. And, like, no one watched them. And then they, they, yeah. someone did watch me literally get copyrighted. So I was like, I, I'm like, I don't know what to do. So he's like, just do try something. So I was like, all right. So I kind of, like, locked in again. And I was like, well, let me try to, like, make shorter edits because I was making mixes 59 seconds I was like that's too long no one's gonna watch that especially if it's like some random player like I remember I made like a Bucks running back player I don't even know his name he actually was cool too but I don't know his name but um so I remember my first video like first real video like I would I deleted all the mixes because I was gonna get a fresh start I had like two follow like five to ten followers I made a um video of just some slow motion catch it was like like it was the play like actually like a patent and burge edit like people like think I made that, like, headed up or something. Maybe I did. I don't know. But it was just, like, a throw and a catch, and the catch was slow motion. It was to a song, uh, again, by Kanye. Forget Kanye, I guess, started my career. I'm forgetting his <laughs> name, the song. But it was, like, that slow one. It's like, everything. And then it goes, like, eh. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, I know you're but, but I did that, and I kept doing it. And then I remember I made a Reggie Bush video. And, oh, yeah, and I, I, I literally remember posting it. Not, literally, I was making three a day posting them. So I was like, whatever. Posted it, and I remember my, pl- it was going insane. I was like, dude, this is, what is going on? Like, that wasn't even like, what is happening? And then I, I checked, and it was at like a quick, like, usually for me, like at that time, like a first hour, 30 minutes of video, it'd be like maybe like 500 views, like a, a, to a K. And that had like 30K. I was like, whoa. I was like, oh, that's a lot. And I remember seeing all the comments like filing in. Just it was just about random stuff. That's usually what happens when stuff goes viral. I don't know if people know that. It's usually not about the video that you want people to watch. It's about like something else. So it's about like the Drew Brees block, like where he like missed or like tried to block, but he like missed or something. And then the 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 jump. So people were coming in. I remember I kept seeing the notifications coming up, and I was like, damn, this is crazy. And I remember um, there's a kid going viral at the time. He was like that running back that would like dance in the locker room. I don't know his name. Caden, maybe? I don't know. He was like a running back for a high school team. And he like blew up. Like he got like two million followers in like a week. Like he was viral, viral. Just for dancing and stuff. It was weird. I don't forget what he did. But he commented on it. I was like, oh damn, he saw it. I was like, oh shit. And then like Complex Sports saw it. And then like I think Ding Prod saw it. <laughs> and then I think, I don't know if that's his real account, but he saw it. I was like, oh, that's cool. And then yeah, ever since then, that was that was like the real, like the Joe Hayden was like the first snowball. And then that going viral on TikTok really started the snowball. And then just ever since then, I mean, I've been going since. Pretty much. I probably have a little more storage, but, like, that was, like, really the main effect. Yeah. That's crazy, though. Like, to go viral, especially on Instagram, pre-reels, like, 2020. Yeah, there's no reels. I wasn't posting reels, yeah. That wow. was straight feed, uh, 1080 by 1350 or whatever, and it, it picked up because all the Steeler accounts picked it up. Thank God. Because um, <laughs> if it didn't, no one would watch it. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but, yeah, so it, it helped a lot. And then, like I said, the Reggie Bush video was crazy, crazy. Like, even crazy now. Like, 
That I think that got 3.5 million views on TikTok. That, that's a good video right now. Like it's hard to get 3.5 million right now. And back then, no one was posting really sports. Like I'm not. I didn't start anything, but like back then on TikTok in 2021 or late early 2021, no one was really posting sports stuff. Like it was like maybe some small stuff here or there, but like from a phone, like no one was posting like NFL content or like yeah. basketball. Maybe I don't know, but like I know for a fact NFL wasn't that much. So like when people saw, it, I think it kind of they're like, oh, so you can post sports on TikTok now. Yeah. And then now everyone does. I mean, everyone does. I mean, it's almost oversaturated. So, like, so it's interesting. But, yeah, 3.5 was nice at the time. It, it, it hit, like, 2 million in, like, two days. And I was like, this is crazy. I remember telling my mom, I was like, this is an insane. <laughs> and at the time, I was like, that shouldn't get too – like, I remember saying, I'm like, that shouldn't get 2 million views. Like, that wasn't – it took me 10 minutes. I was like, why is that getting 2 million views? It didn't make any sense. But now, obviously, being in social media game for a couple of years, like, it's starting to understand and click more. But at the time, I was like, this is crazy. And then, yeah, ever since then, I was gone. Yeah, I remember seeing that Reggie Bush video. That was that 2020 or 2021? Tw early 2021, like oh, literally like January 10th, probably like around there. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, and I love that time like where like you could just like make like a couple like couple videos like short videos like that, yeah. post it, and then wake up in the morning and be like, oh shoot, Those got a good time. See, now yeah. you post like, you get like a K, you're like, oh, yeah, no yeah. one likes that because you got to make people care now. Yeah, there's so many options. It's no one cares if you post something they don't care about. They just scroll. So now you have to make good videos, which is good. Yeah. It weeds out the trash, but at the time. You can, like you just said, you can post anything and it yeah. could pick up. Now it's just, I mean, so many people use TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. It's just so much harder. But like I said, it's, I mean, I guess it helps in the long run. Yeah, no, exactly. So, and that also explains like why like, your consistency is so good. Because mm -hmm. I've always wondered like, it's, it's like, bro, you don't even miss a day. <laughs> and it's, it's not like 10 second videos anymore. Yeah, it's no, like no. one minute every single day, basketball, yeah, NFL. Yeah. But it probably started from that COVID time when you were just locking in and just. Yeah, I mean, I've always been a consistent person, I would say. Like. When I was younger, like I like I said, like not younger, I guess, like sophomore year of high school, like I started locking in the basketball, I really locking in the basketball. Like I'd play like in the morning, like five a.m. I'd get up, play, because a big thing was Kobe. Like when I grew up, like in like freshman to sophomore year, I remember I watched like a Kobe video and I was like hooked. Like he was like, because the way he was talking, I was like, oh, I kind of resonate with that. Like how you just like grind, like put your head down and work, and like good rewards will come hopefully. It's like, oh yeah, let me do that. So I mean, my, I remember my sophomore year and junior year playing basketball. I mean, I was playing all day. I mean, all day, all night. Like, I'd be up at 5 a.m. playing, and I'd play again at, like, 10 like p.m., and I'd play throughout the day. I'd go for runs and stuff like that. I'd try to get better. I wasn't the best, but, like, I wasn't terrible. Like, I, I wasn't that bad, but I wasn't, like, crazy. I wasn't Kobe. But um, <laughs> So, yeah, I think that started with it, and then I lost it going into college because I didn't have anything. So I was like, I, I need something to, like, work on because if I don't, then I'm like, what do I do? I almost get, like, sad. Not, like, sad, but I was yeah. like, I don't know what to do. Like, so I was, like, just in my room, just staring at the ceiling. Like, dude, I have no idea what to do. This is awful. Like, no wonder everyone goes through this after high school. And then I literally remember, thank God, I saw that video. And I was like, oh, I can do that. And I've always been, like, a creative kid. Like, I would write and draw when I was younger um, and stuff like that. And, like, when I was younger, younger, I would make, like, sports, like, picture edits. But nothing crazy. Just the, the uh, saturation all the way up, the grain all the way up, <laughs> the pop all the way up. Yeah. But, um, and then, yeah, so, like, and then COVID, like, I, like you said, COVID came around. And it just got me into like a different, like, I was like, I just have to, like, I got to lock in somehow. So, and I was only posting Instagram. Like I was locking in. It's funny because people all the time, like, how'd you get your start? How'd you, how do you get big or whatever? Quote, unquote, I'm not even big yet, but you know what I mean? So I'm like, dude, I was posting on Instagram for a year to nobody, like nobody, like a hundred likes was like a good day. And I was like, that was a good edit. Like it worked out. People like that edit. <laughs> and uh, I'm like only my friends sharing the videos. So yeah, once and then, like I said, once the Reggie Bush edit happened, I just kept going, and it just once you do it over and over and over and over, it's almost like I literally can't not do it. It's so a part of my daily routine, where like even in the off season, I get like empty in a way. It's so weird saying this, but I get like I need football to like. It's like a part of me now. It's so weird to say that, but it's true. Like when Sunday, Thursday, Monday comes around, like I know I'm gonna get to like create content. It's like cool. It's like a thing I look forward to. So then when the off season happens, like damn. It's just a regular Sunday. You know what I mean? But like you said, the consistency, like I just kept doing it. And it's just, it's so much fun to me still that it's not even about consistency. It's just like, I'm going to do it regardless. So like, why would I not do it? You know what I mean? So yeah. no, exactly. Like you have that mindset for greatness. Like literally. Yeah. Just, like, I mean, not to be like cocky, but like, yeah, I like to do it. So like, I'm going to do it. Yeah. You have to have that if you want to be great and want to do well. And, and the thing is like, you enjoy it. So you're going to yeah. do it anytime. hundred percent. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, it's not even to sound cocky or whatever. Like, I'm nowhere near where I want to be right now. I'm like, I still have, that's the beauty of what we do. There's no end point. Like, 
you could, I mean, look at Mr. Beast. He's like getting 150 million views a video. Like I'm getting 9K maybe on a long form. Like yeah. there's so much room to improve. So like there's no end goal. So you just keep going. So like, that's like the cool part about what we do in content and social media. Like obviously there's bumps in the road, but you need those because then you find a way to get over them. Like we struggle and stuff and like, oh, that video didn't do well. Well, what I do wrong? Okay, I did that wrong. People didn't like that spot. Oh, that wasn't really that funny. That didn't catch that. Like, I thought someone was going to catch it. No one understood that one. I've gotten those where I'm, I make it and I'm like, oh, that's fire. And then like people are like, what is going on in this video? I'm like, what do you mean? Like, no one think, you know what I mean? No one ever, not everyone thinks like you. So yeah. you need that stuff. And like you said, just if you like to do it and you're, it's fun, like you're going to do it. Like I'm having, it's not even a job. It's just fun to do. So I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. That's why a lot of people ask me, like, how you get to, like, that point that you are. But, like, mm. for me, like, when I started, like, I was just posting, like, two to four TikToks a day. Yeah. Like, yeah. T- and I love doing it. Like, yep. I wasn't thinking about, like, nope. oh, I got to get up. Like, it was just, I was just doing it every single day. And then. Yeah. Dude, I post, like, on. seven a day. In the gro- <laughs> oh dog days goodness. of summer. Dude, dude 2021. Dude, because in my mind, and it's not even this, it's not even a good way to think, probably, because you're just posting so much. Yeah. But I always, like, coming from, like, the Kobe thing, like, because he's working out, like, five times, oh, my bad, five <laughs> times a day. Um, he's working out, like, five times a day. I'm like, well, I gotta be posting five times a day, which is such a weird comparison because he's playing basketball. <laughs> I'm making sports edits, but but it's that's the truth. So I was posting like seven. I remember at one time, um, I remember I was I, I posted seven in a row because I thought that was like gonna take off. It didn't. No one saw it because it was just like the feed was like, what's going on? Why are you posting oh, yeah. seven videos? Yeah. And um, so yeah, but I was posting a lot, a lot. Like I still probably could post a lot, but I don't. I don't want to make the content. Um, kind of like dragged out or I just want every video to be good where if someone watched it be like oh I want to follow this dude or sub this dude or comment or like or you know what I mean so I didn't want to like post too much because I'm like they might get kind of bored or like the videos aren't gonna be as good so that's where I'm at but I was posting like a lot like especially when I first started especially so I've gotten to that point where like now every time I post it's like my favorite post like I know this I wanted to go viral you know yep. I don't post to that yeah 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 I don't no post I, I always stuff. say my favorite this is gonna sound very corny and cliche but my favorite post is the next one like yeah, it's very Tom Brady esque but it's true like yeah. I'll watch a video literally two months ago I posted like my first long form video I can't watch it like I don't like it so like but that's the goal you should be like like I'll still get notifications where people will be like commenting on like an old video like a year old video I'm like how do you watch like I can't even watch that right now like. But that's what you need because that means you're improving, hopefully. So, exactly. but. Bro, that's crazy. I like, that's, it's like talking to a mirror right now. Yeah, no, because yeah. there's not a lot of people that I talk to that are like this. Like, no yeah. disrespect to like people I talk to. I don't really talk to much. <laughs> so I'm really, really like locked in just on my computer editing and you know what I mean? Working out sometimes, but like, I'm really just trying to lock in right now because I really want to do this. Yeah. But the people I talk to don't really think like that because they're not really, they don't usually have something. I feel like everyone is like that if they find that something but not many get lucky to find that something that early. Like I found it when I was like 19, quote unquote. Some people find it when they're 12. Some people find it when they're like 35. So like, so I got lucky, but maybe, like you said, maybe some people feel like that. Maybe some people don't, but I'm happy I do because I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have this. I don't know where I'd be. Yeah. (laughs) So I'm very blessed. Yeah, I feel the same way. And then like, I think like the circle kind of gets smaller because you can't really associate with people that aren't trying to get up there. Yeah, it's it's tough. It sucks because like, especially with like, people trying to do what we do because they don't think like that. Like when they, the, I never try to blame a bad video on the algorithm. Like I'm, that's never, like I maybe did that when I was younger, like when I first started, but now getting more mature, like if a video does bad, it's on me. Like I made the video bad. Something mm-hmm. I did was not good. It didn't resonate with people. Like a video I just posted yesterday or two days ago, whatever it was, didn't do that well. And I was like, oh, maybe like that wasn't a good video. Like even if I liked it, like obviously you could still like a bad video. Like I liked the video, but it didn't do well for my fan base and my people that resonate with my content. So I'm like, all right, well, let me take a step back, look myself in the mirror and be like, it's not always about the fan. Like, you know what I mean? It's not, it's my fault. It's not their fault. Like they don't know. They're liking what they want to like. So I think, like you said, a lot of people, especially starting out, blame other people or like the algorithm or something for their mistakes. And it, it's really bad because it get, it sets you back. Because if you just, from the get-go, start and be like, oh, that bad video is on me. Like, you will be 10 times better than the next person because no one think, not a lot of people think like that. So that, that would be one piece of advice for, like, creators and stuff like that, young creators or even creators, like, in my spot. Like, if the video's bad, it's bad. It's not anyone's fault. Like, it's, it's your fault. So then you could step back, look at it, be like, all right, this is what I could do. I could do here, 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 and then go from there. And then just keep learning. Yeah. So you said that, like, you've been, yeah, so you already post, like, a lot. Mm-hmm. And then, like, 
you also told like your your family and everything like that and like your friends knew about it like mm -hmm. did they ever like give you flack and stuff like no. that I, I i didn't care <laughs> they did <laughs> i was like, listen i don't care really what people like i don't think i got flack maybe like behind my back they were yeah, like what yeah. is he doing but like it wasn't like it really wasn't because they saw like it was cool at first because I wasn't. I was just starting. I didn't have any traction. My family was really supportive. Like my mom and dad were like cool with it. My mom especially was cool with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, my family was like, yeah, just go for it. My grandparents had no idea what I was doing. No idea. They still don't know idea. Do what I do. My grandpa always hits me up and like get a job. I was like, <laughs> I have one kind of. So <laughs> I'm trying, brother. But um, but he's cool. But um, so yeah, my friends didn't really give me slack at all. I mean, no one did. I mean, like I said, maybe behind my back, but. If they did, I don't care. Like, go for it. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to do it. So, um, but yeah, I mean, and then once it kept going and picking up steam, they're just, oh, that's what Virgil does. Like, he just does that and now. It's kind of his thing. So it's funny. Like, once you make like make it or, like, get actually, like, progress, people are like, oh, yeah, he just does that. Yeah. But at first you start and they're like, what is he doing? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. but, yeah, it was cool. When I started, like, I didn't really want anyone to know because I just wanted to just work. So, like, when I. Yeah, that makes sense. When I first did it, like. I had like a whole separate account and then mm -hmm. I was just posting and stuff like that. I don't, I didn't tell any one of my friends or anything. Like it was only like my brother and then Xavier. That was the only ones I really knew. Mm -hmm. My mom didn't really know like really like like a year or really? two after that. Yeah. Like no one really, no one really knew. I really just wanted to grind and like, yeah, no, that makes sense. I don't, I don't, I never even told people. I'm still getting used to like trying yeah. to tell people. Cause usually like when people say like, where am I? Like, oh, yeah, oh no. what are you going to do later? I'll just be like, oh, I'm studying or something yeah, like that. Yeah. But I'm really like going to edit. <laughs> but I'm getting better at like telling people, oh, I'm editing. Yeah. I just say it like it's that. Yeah. It's weird. Cause you, cause you don't think it's like a job, yeah. but it is, but yeah. it's fun. You know what I mean? So yeah. like when you tell someone like you're editing, like, oh, you're editing for fun. Like, yeah, why are you yeah, doing yeah. that? Like, yeah, like yeah, well, yeah. it's fun. And like, why would I not? Yeah. You know what I mean? And even today still who asked what i do i have no idea how to answer that i'm like i'm in social media i have no idea how to like answer that because you tell like a person over 30 what you do I, they ha they look at you like you're crazy i'm yeah. like i don't know so i usually say i film but yeah. i really don't film that much anymore i film occasionally but i mostly edit yeah but um but yeah i mean starting that i did kind of have a little of that because yeah. uh in the beginning my I, my first editing like career path was my senior year i started a 2k um mix account or like i would create like me and my friends play like pro am or park and I would start, um, I would do like edits now basically, but through park. So I would do like rope, like I do like LeBron and D Wade in the park and be me as D Wade and my friend is LeBron. And I'd make like legit edits and they'd get like 50 views on YouTube. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So I would do that until college. And then college came around and people stopped playing because we're all at college and no one really wanted to play video games anymore. So then I stopped and I kind of lost it. And I remember that's when I made the Burge account. And I remember going on my YouTube, like announcing it. Like it was like some big announcement. I had like a hundred subs, same account, it's the same account, but I just private all the 2K videos and they're all copyrighted and stuff. So I can't really post them. But, um, but I, I remember I made an announcement like, this is what I've been doing. Cause I haven't, I haven't posted in, like three months and I made like three edits. I showed my three like sports editors, like Deontay Johnson, um, the Bush edit and then someone else. And they were like, yo, who are you? They were like, what, what happened with like my other account? And I was like, well, this is me now. It was like two comments. But at the time I was like, damn, I'm letting these kids down. Like they were looking for 2K content. And like, I don't know if they still subbed me. It would be crazy if like those first 100 like still subbed to me. Cause it's why, like, I don't know any of those dudes. But, um, but yeah, that was my first taste of like editing and like work. And I was editing in, this is before iMovie. I was editing in PS4. Like, you know, the PS4. I don't know if you know about oh, that. Yeah, they yeah, had like yeah. an editing thing. I was yeah. making like, like beat drop and it's in there and like I would like shake the screen with Wait, PS4. With the yeah, like it's I don't know how to explain it because I haven't done it so long, but it's like a thing in PlayStation where you can like go on and take your clips and put them into that and then you can make effects on them. So I'd like shake the screen on a dunk because I knew like a dunk would come up and I'd take the clip. It would took me forever. Like literally, I remember staying up at like 5 a.m. and I was doing it for like nobody. Like I was just watching this basically and I was I was at 5 a.m. I would export it to YouTube, download it from YouTube because I didn't have an HDMI or whatever it's called that like syncs your gameplay or whatever. I download it from YouTube, put it into iMovie and just repeat and make like three to four minute videos of mixes and then that's what I would do. And it was fun. Me and my friends had a fun time. Sometimes annoying because I'd be like, you guys want to get on? And they'd be like, for what? And I'm like, well, I need you. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's, and then my last video was like a program video and then I, I stopped doing it and then that's when Burge was born. And then I, yeah. That's so crazy. I did, I lucky did the same thing too because like, me and I feel like brother, everyone did. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, like me and my brother, like we were like big on like player franchises. Mm -hmm. So like we'd make these safety careers and we'd be in the same league and we'd mm -hmm. play. And then also with 2K, we'd have our own 2K players in my career. And then we would make the video and then we would like have a song and stuff like that. But it was literally only between us and we would just share it. Yeah. And I would post them on YouTube 
And I remember one of them, like my brother made it, but I posted on my channel, the same channel I still have. Mm -hmm. And then it was like kind of when Madden 19 was about to drop. Mm -hmm. So, but it was Madden 18. So I, but I just changed the title to like Madden 19 safety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it kind of it it went crazy. Yeah, I got like, it, it was not it didn't blow. Like yeah. I got like 27 subscribers from that. That's so bad. I was going crazy. That's kind of similar to me with Madden too. I, Cause I did the same thing with Madden. Like if my friends were not, I play Madden. Mm -hmm. And I remember I made like a mix. Some, it was right when Madden came out. And I did, it got like, well, it's funny. This didn't blow. It got like 300 views, but that was good at the time. I was yeah. like, damn, 300 views? And it's the same thing. Like, I was like, oh, I was like hype on 300 views. I, that was sweet, but yeah. Mm. That's so crazy that you also use the, the PS4. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know what else yeah. to do. I've never edited before like that. So I was yeah. like, well, I don't have to do these effects that. And no one was really like, people would, uh, I forget, there's some 2K dudes that were making mixes, but they're so much better than mine. Like, like with After Effects and stuff, I'm like, I don't know how to use that stuff. So I was like, I'll just use P PS4. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I did. And then I just sync it into iMovie with a song. And that was it. I wouldn't talk. It'd be legit a mix. If you clicked on the video, you were getting a mix. And then that was it. <laughs> so but my brother, like, he's, he's going to be seeing this. But like, we used to do like the QB careers. Mm -hmm. And I did, I have the same thing, but with the Xbox. And mm -hmm. I, I, I did like a whole video with that through the Xbox. I thought it was so legit. And yeah. I was, but like, I would never post those. Like, like I never started like, for like content, it was really to like 2021, but before that, like I was just like make videos for myself. Like, yeah, I think like the first makes sense. Yeah, like the first it was like stop motion Legos, and then I oh, started doing cool. iMovie. Like, you, I don't know if you remember like the trailers and stuff. Yep, yeah, and I, yep. I would always do those. Yep. Like, and then yeah, that's that's really it. And then I and I how I started content was like June 2021. Mm -hmm. I was doing this like pharmacy thing. I, it was I was supposed to, it was like right after I graduated college. Yep, I was like studying to be like a farm tech. But like I'll just post like a, a like a clip from my Madden like one like maybe like every other day and it would get like not every other day like every week or something mm -hmm. it would get like a hundred a hundred views and a hundred likes and then I remember it was like yeah May thirty first twenty twenty one I had two videos and it was a safety career and I was going against Mahomes it was crazy <laughs> so I had this one clip where it's still on my TikTok so like I was running and I blew him up picked it up and it was yeah, like yeah. a little beat drop. Yeah. And the second one, still the craziest glitch I've ever had in Madden, where it was like, so they're on the goal line, they're mm -hmm. about to kick it, it's fourth and goal, right? Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 they're about to go for it, it's fourth and goal, and then all of a sudden they just audibled, and then they had Mahomes kicking the field goal. It was so weird, yeah, and I, I just posted it. That probably blew up. Yeah, yeah. It, it, and when it, the next morning when I woke up, it was like, because I had two accounts, and I remember like seeing the little, little uh, uh, notification yeah, thing yeah. it said like 67 I yeah, was like, yeah, Yo! yeah 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 yep. and then it was crazy and then i both i got 40k on both videos Damn. and then that next morning when i was studying yeah like i was just like you and i was like nah like yeah i, I want to pull up my phone every single time like as soon as Teeter turned around i'm like yep. oh shoot let me look yep. at it oh dude i and have stories for those yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and then ever since then i was just posting every single day and also i heard that like you can make money at 10k yeah. so i was like all right say less i started posting 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 and that's why i miss like like that's why i miss like pre-tiktok program where like you could just Post those 10 second yeah. clips. And I mean, you weren't like really that. getting paid, but it was fun. I know yeah. what you mean. Right. It, 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 but it, like I said, it's weird because it does saturate up some of the bad content. Still, you still get these dudes that are like clipping and like posting. And it's like, it ruins people like us, in my opinion. Like, mm -hmm. we, like it just, it doesn't make any, it, it literally affects us. So like yeah. the place gets oversaturated with clippers and stuff. And then it's like, oh, we're still here. But, yeah. but, um, but yeah, like you said with the, uh, your teacher thing, like I remember going to the bathroom and posting. Like I'd have to post because I'd always post at like 12, 3, 6, 9 mm -hmm. when I post four times a day. I don't know why. It's just easy numbers mm -hmm. to follow. So I'd be in class at 12 and I'm like, I got to post. So I'd be like, can I go to the bathroom? And I'd go in the bathroom, post, come back. And then I would leave at 3 o'clock, come, same thing. And I remember I'd edit in class. I wouldn't even, dude, my last like, because I, I took a gap year, but I dropped out technically. Right now I'm dro <laughs> dropped out. But my last like semester, I literally was on YouTube the whole time, like looking at my page, like <laughs> like looking at my page, editing, trying to find clips. Like I was doing everything, and then if they call me, I'd see what happens. But um, but yeah, and like you said, the in TikTok notification. I remember when I started posting on Instagram Reels. That was the same thing. Like I remember going, I would post, and the first time it blew up, like it would just Instagram's crazy. I don't. I mean, TikTok might be too. I don't know, but it was just going. Yeah. Like I remember, I couldn't even go on my phone. Like that's when I knew a video did well, which was yeah. cool about Instagram back then. Like. It's still kind of, I guess, like that, but I don't have my notifications on anymore. It's yeah, just annoying. Yeah. Yeah. But but I, I remember, like, if a video did well, you get a ton of notifications, like, 10 minutes after you post. If video didn't do well, you get no notifications after, like, 10 minutes. So I was like, all right, that did well, and I wouldn't go on it. And if it did do, didn't do well, I was like, damn, it didn't do well. But it was cool. It was a good rush. Like, it's a weird, it's almost like a drug, like, really, because yeah. it's like a rush of, like, I'm like, oh, my God, people are liking the video. Like, that's cool. But, yeah, that was cool. I remember that when Reels came around, but... 
It's crazy. Does yeah. like the screen time ever affect you? Cause like, I know it affects me. Like, what do you mean? Like when you're editing and stuff like that. Like for me, like the long form edits, like mm -hmm. I might get locked in. I might be on my phone for like five hours straight. Yeah. But then when I put my phone down, I'm like, I like look at the look around the room. I'm like, dang, this is really me. Like. I feel oh no, like, I don't get like that. <laughs> that's crazy. So you just you just go the whole way, and you could be fine. Like you could go ten hours straight. And oh no, I I wouldn't say that because I do have breaks. Like I don't okay. like even long form. Long form is tough. Like I'll procrastinate that so hard. Even though I want to make the video, I have the idea. Like the video I just made was a Drew Lock video. I had that video idea for like a month, never made it. Like it was just sitting on the script or like what I wrote out and had everything. It's just the hard part is like doing it. Which is weird to say because our whole job is doing it, like editing. But like long form especially is just like it's tough. It's a long video. Like eight minutes of editing or eight minutes of a video and editing is completely different. Like that's like a couple days depending on what you're trying to do. For me, I probably could have got it done quicker. But like I said, I was procrastinating. I wasn't yeah. even like. Plus you're doing the short front. Yeah, front I'm also making basketball content, football content. I have my life. Like I'm not trying to just sit in my room and like. So I still try to work out and stuff like get sun. <laughs> so like, so that it helps. Like and I have dogs. I'll go play with them. Like I don't just sit and edit for like 10 hours. Like unless it's like a Sunday. Like if it's a Sunday, it's a little different. Like bathroom breaks are like three times. It's mm -hmm. weird. I don't know why, but it's just like I get so locked into like the game. And then I'm editing and it's just it just goes by so quick. But like on a normal day in the off season or just regular day, it's it's not that bad. I don't get like lost track of time. I know when to eat. Like I don't know how people like always were like, oh, I was grinding so hard, I forgot to eat. Like I've never forgotten eating in my life. Like I don't know how people do that. But um, but yeah, I mean, but I've had nights where I stay up to four a.m. and I'm like, and then I'll I'll be like, why am I staying up to four a.m.? But then the other side of me was like, no one else is staying up to four a.m. So like you like because sometimes I'll be like, damn, I don't even know if I should be a do like what am I even doing? Like I don't know if you get those thoughts, but you're like, what am I doing? Like yeah. Make up, and they usually happen when you post a video and it gets like 5k and like what am I doing like it's crazy sometimes like the the views just change your way of life which is not good you shouldn't live like that look in the camera you should not live like that it's not good because it really does affect like it messes with me sometimes I try to like I'm like let me just live in the present bad video but I have another video to make today like it doesn't matter and usually the best videos come after that like after a bad video you like really lock in you're like all right I gotta make a good video because like what am I doing like I know I could be better than that so but yeah, it's, it's, it, I don't get lost track of time, I would say. Yeah. Now, what I do now is like, I try to make a post every single day. So mm -hmm. like, regardless of the view, like if I post, mm -hmm. I just like say in my mind, like I already won the day. Yeah, I just 100%. Keep like that. Yep. Cause yeah. man, those views could be like, yeah, they could affect your life. People don't know, dude. I'm telling you. Cause you got that. I'm, I'm pretty good. I've always been good with comments. Like I don't really mind. I mean, sometimes, dude, I remember when I got like a hate comment at first. I was like, why? What are you hating on? I was like, I'm just editing. Like it was so weird. I remember literally my mom was like, do you ever get hate comments? I was like, no. And then right when I said that, I remember like a week later, I opened my page up and people would be like, this dude's not even that good. I'm like, what are you talking? What do you mean? I'm just doing it for fun. Like, what do you mean not good? Like yeah. no one's trying. No, there's, no, there's no best editor. Like it's all subjective. So what are you talking about? So I was like, what? But then once, once that brushed off, I was fine. I mean, like. I don't really care what people say anymore. And I, I try to read the comments because I like reading the comments, but sometimes it gets a little rough in there. I'm like, geez, dude. Some uh, people just do not like people. I was like, my Lord. But it's cool to read like people that support you. And then the worst thing of all time comes. People like Five Radio and like Glaze, like the worst <laughs> word of all time that whoever created that. I know. The worst I, word. You literally no can't sense. support anyone anymore. Yeah. Like it's crazy. I'm like, dude, someone would comment like, dude, this edit was fire, whatever. Like, this is my favorite edit. Like, you've never seen the edit. This is Glaze. You, you don't know that. It's like, I know. I'm like, dude, just, it's a random dude. Like, you don't even know that dude. Like, I couldn't even do that if I, like, did in the street. Like, why yeah. would I go up to, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, but yeah, hate comments don't really affect me. And then, but the views will get you sometimes. And they really, especially if you make a video that you thought was good. And it's not good. And it's like, oh, my God, that was, like, my video. Like, I thought that would get, like, 100K at least. And it gets, like, 5K in the first five hours. It's like whoa and then but then the videos that you make and you're like eh, 100k like yeah. the videos that you don't care about and you're like oh that's not that good they will do well it's really weird but the videos you care about usually the most don't do that well but yeah one i would say views is very it's a very scary hole to go down because if you get lost in it and you, it, it it's hard like it's hard when a video doesn't perform but then like you said you just got to wake up like all right well i made a video today i won the day like i already made a video today like i already made three videos i already had videos for the next week like i'm still doing it so but yeah it's tough yeah, no, that, the hate comments too also got me because like, that's how you also know you're great because you're, yeah. you're getting hate comments. Yeah, if no one cares, I mean, you got to have something because if it's all love, then people are probably just feeling bad for you. Yeah. And then if it's both hate and love, you got to be doing something, right? Like, why would someone be hating on you if, you, like, if you're nobody? You know what I mean? So that's, I mean, like, I still remember when I wouldn't get comments. So like, it's not, it just kind of happened naturally where like I wouldn't get comments and I got a lot of love, like a lot of love at first. 
and then I'd start seeing the hate, and then now it's like 50-50. Especially, but most of the hate's not even directed at me sometimes. Like, I, I rarely get, like, people getting, like, like weird, jealous editors that, like, will, like, be like, this shit's trash. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, I don't care what you think. <laughs> but, um, but it would be, like, just people, like, from other teams. Like, if it's Eagles fan, like, for example, like the 49ers Eagle, yeah, 49ers, 49ers Eagle video I just posted, I'll get fans just going at it and they're coming at me. I'm like, brother. I am a Steeler fan. I do not care about the 49ers. Trust me. <laughs> but, but yeah, that that will that that's it now. I mean, it's not that bad. But that's another thing too. Like I realized that like I was kind of always fine with hate comments because they were never directed towards me. Yeah, the yeah, content yeah. is yep. not about not about you. me. That's yeah. the whole point of our job. Our job yeah. is the content is about the like not us. We're not the story. Yeah. You know what I mean? So once I started getting them, I was like, why are you guys coming at me? That's <laughs> not the point. Like, why you hate my? If you don't like the edit, just don't watch it. Like it was yeah. weird. It was just mind boggling to me because I never, th I never would ever like commented a hate comment because I didn't really care. Like I didn't have the time of day to just be like, this dude sucks. Mm. But like I would see it. I was like, really? Like you really cared that much? So that was when I first got a taste of it. Then, it, like I said, I mean, I've been doing it for so long now, like three years, four years, whatever, that I've just gotten so used to it where I don't even see them. I just scroll by them. But, I mean, the love is awesome. I love all the support, always. I mean, I always try to respond to comments because it's like you don't need to be commenting on my video, but I really do appreciate it. Like, I always say appreciate it. It's like a running joke. I always say appreciate it or, like, appreciate you. Yeah, but I that. do. There's nothing else to say. Like, I really appreciate you because <laughs> without you, there'd be no me. Like, or there'd be me, but there'd be no videos to see because I, I'd just be keeping them for myself. So, because I'd still make the videos. I love making content. But like you said, I just wouldn't post them if I had no, like, the, you got to post to see if people like them. And then, luckily, some people liked them. But. Yeah. And, like, like it's funny, though. When I started now making IRL content, now, mm -hmm. like, the hate comments are kind of coming yeah. at me. Yeah, so like, IRL is I, different. Yeah. Yeah. For YouTube now, I, because I, I love reading comments, like, all the time. Yeah. But I had to make the rule for YouTube shorts because they, they, there's oh, just some straight bro, stooges on there. hate people. Yeah, Dude, I, there's <laughs> a lot of hate out there. There's a lot of hate in people's yeah. heart, like, which I get, I guess. I mean, it's a tough time. I don't know. I don't know what they got going on, but people hate people. Like, it, I see something not about me. I'll go through comments like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. that's bad. Like, why would you say that about someone? Like, it's just Same. weird. You don't even, I keep in the mic. You don't <laughs> even know them. Like, it's just like, it's crazy. And like you said, I mean, you're posting way more IRL content than me. I couldn't imagine. Like, yeah. Some of the stuff, like, just random people. You don't even know. Just comment for no reason. It's crazy. Yeah, like, I was playing, like, and that's why I just can't re watch on YouTube shorts. Because, like, I was playing flag football. <laughs> and, like, you know, like, mic'd up and stuff. And yeah, there was yeah. a comment. It was like, I'm sorry, but you will never play tackle football again. And I'm like, and I, I, I responded. I'm like, bro, I'm 20 years old. I'm not trying to play no tackle Dude, football. Like, it, it, it it's was, like, crazy because it's. You it's say so that, stupid. but you, you do like low key, like need those comments, which is so weird yeah. because like it drives other people to be like, what are you talking about? And then you get a conversation going. That's all the comment section is about. You need conversations because the more conversation you have, the better the video does. So if you can make your content, create conversation, you made a good video. So technically you made a good video by the dude making funny for not playing tackle football. But I mean, it is weird. It's a weird like double edged sword, but yeah. That's another thing too. Like I don't want to like. It's hard not to respond. There's mm -hmm. Some I'm like, oh, that's why. Like when I'm r r r going through comments, I have to stop at a certain level, yeah. like three fourths, because the bottom. The bottom's ooh, crazy. It gets deep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to just own them. And stuff. The bottom's like, like swears and like I'm like, dude, how is this allowed on YouTube? Yeah. My God, but yeah. yeah, it's it's tough on the bottom. So I remember like from 2021 and then 2022, and I think right like late 2022. That's when I really just started seeing like your edits when it would be like, play happened, yeah. boom. People always say that. How'd you do that? Are you talking about Instagram or TikTok? Like when, where would, do you remember where you would see them? Yeah, it was really TikTok. Like I especially, I remember the Super Bowl, Eagles, Chiefs. It was like, oh, bro, the like hit? The play happened. Hit? Yes, like play happened. Bro. Like before I even like people, look at the replay, and I'm like, yo. Quickly back to the hate comments, I'd get hate for that. People would be like, yo. Put your can put your phone down. I'm like, what are you guys like? Do you now want to watch the video? Like, people, are, I'm getting views. Like, it's obviously working. Like, what do you mean? And like, I that, those got me. I never respond. I, I don't think I've ever responded like, hey, come my life. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe once. And it was like, if some dude, it was like very minimum. But those got me. And it would be every post on the Super Bowl. They would be like, because everyone's watching the Super Bowl, so everyone would be like, comment like, this just happened. What are you doing? And then it's funny. People would be like, this just happened, like with a shock of face. And then someone comment would be like, no, it didn't. It happened actually like five minutes ago, bro. It didn't happen. I'm like, what? <laughs> it was weird. They like go back and forth. And then, but yeah, I remember that Juju one that you're talking about. Like I was on my couch. I was watching the Super Bowl at my grandma's. I was, I had my laptop on my, on my uh, uh, thighs and I was waiting and it happened. I was like, I'm editing that. I'm finding that clip. I'm that's so, cause it's so on brand. It's a big hit. It was funny. I, I don't know what the caption was. I might've said like Juju got lit up or something, but, um, and it was Juju. It just worked. So I was like, I'm, I'm making that. 
And I remember I went on, because um, usually it's, people always ask where I get the clips. It's not like a secret. It's social media. I mean, it's, they pump them out. Like, you can find them. It's not like crazy. So I think I got that one from Twitter. I don't know how, because I don't think the NFL posted it. But I got it quick. And I remember I edited it. And I, I made it in, like, I had it ready. Because I, I saw the play, and I'm like, all right. And I, had a, I have sounds uh, on my hard drive. So I'd go to my sounds, and I'd find a, a, a drop or whatever sound I thought would work. Threw it in there. Had everything ready. I already had my um, my overlay or my name and my uh, I always have them ready, but um, my my coloring and stuff. And then I I, I got it. Airdropped my computer, put it in my computer, made the quick edit, and then put it in my phone. And then I posted really quickly to TikTok. That's why I saw it. I made it literally in commercial break. Like it, it was posted before they came back from the punt. And that's why I think people got like we're going crazy. But um, but yeah, it, it gets people going. Like I never in a million years thought that would get people going. And it started to go back. I, I think that's where you're heading. It started because I remember a random, I think that's, that was 2021 or 2022, 2021 season, I think, week two. I was home and I would use, I used, I usually filmed on the weekends, but I was home that weekend. It was week two. And I remember Najee had a stiff arm versus the Raiders, threw him. I think it was uh, Abrams or Adam, I forget who he threw. But, and I was like, oh, I got to edit that. So I just, I just, it was out of, it wasn't even like, oh, I'm going to make the fastest. It was just like, oh, I'm going to edit that right now and post it because it just happened. Why not? So I remember I made it. And I posted it, and I don't know how well it did with views, but I was like, that was kind of fun. So I, and I kept, and if another big play happened, I would do the same thing, same thing, all the way into Sunday night, and then the same thing. And then I remember going through the comments the next day, and people were like, oh, how this, ha this happened, just happened. How'd you make this? I'm like, huh. I'm like, people really like are shocked. I was like, because to me, because like I said, I don't, like, another thing, you have to try to think like a, like a uh, viewer. I don't really, I think like a creator, which is not good. I, I should try to think like a viewer. So I was thinking like, oh, this is not crazy. Like, this is not really rocket science. I'm just making, like, you know what I mean? But once I saw people resonated with it, I was all right, cool. So I remember I made it like a challenge for myself. Like week three, I'm going to post, this is the weird part of me and like the Kobe, I guess, but like, let me make 30 edits just like of the play. So I'd literally look out for week three and just Sunday, one o'clock came to 1130 at night. I was literally trying to hit 30. And ever since then, I just kept going. And then college come around, like the next year. I didn't do college that year, but like the next year, I'd try to do college. And then football came, or NFL came, same thing. And then same thing. And, and I'll probably tone it back a little bit this year because when I first started, it was like a random Bills touchdown on a 4 o'clock game. I was like, why did I make that? It had like five comments on YouTube. I was like, why did I even make that? Like it was just, I was making anything. Like if it was a touchdown, a pick, a hit, Fumble, I was, it was probably on my page from like 2021 to 2022. But now I'm trying to tone it back a little bit because like I said, you don't want to get oversaturated and like it gets a little, I'm trying to do only like prime time and like big plays, nothing yeah. crazy, but like not, not like a random fumble that happened in week two at like one o'clock. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah, it, it was crazy. I'd never thought people would really like care like that, but. You can't even really do it anymore because of the TikTok program. That's the only thing I don't like. like no, I, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I still, it's weird. And it's, and like you said, like, you don't get paid. You're really just doing it for fun now. Yeah, and so like, it's not worth it. Really. But it's weird to me. Like, it's a part of me. Like, I've been doing it for so long that, like, if I don't do it, I feel weird. Like, I remember last year or two years ago, I was uh, filming on Sunday. And I was like, I literally got anxiety. Like, I got, like, stressed out. I was like, I'm missing, like, someone else is doing what I'm doing. Like, I should be, like... That's not good. And I remember the Sunday night game was the Dolphins Chargers. And I was in a restaurant without my uh, computer because it was after I was filming. We all went out like a team or whatever. And I literally had, to, I was like, we got to leave. Like, this is crazy. Because I remember it was the Tyree kill. I don't know if you remember the play when he, they fumbled and Tyree picked it up and ran. Yeah, for, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally like was like dying. Like, I, I was like, like I was eating my burrito. And I was like, dude, I have to edit that. <laughs> and I couldn't because I, I missed it. And then it was just so weird. And then I was like, all right, never again. Like, either... I go and find a way to edit and film, or I just don't film. And I remember I would find a way. I would still go to film because I was making money. It was my job. And I would still edit. I would literally film. And then when it, like a break happened, I would run in, like, in the hallway, just be on my computer editing. And then if something crazy, crazy happened, I would have my computer to my right while filming. Time out. Film. Put it down. Time. Like, I would literally, it was crazy. I'm telling you, it was crazy. Wait, so Very like, dangerous. You're, like, actually at a basketball game. Dude, I'm literally in a... AU tournament with my laptop to my right and there's 40 games going on around me and I'm just filming and then a break would happen I put my camera down pick my laptop up and edit and I have my headphones in I barely hear anything because it's so loud and I would that's all I do and then like I said the Sunday would come around I remember the Steeler um, week 17 or 18 or whatever it was when uh, Big Ben beat the Steelers or uh, Ravens 
Uh, <laughs> um, I was editing in my break. I was watching the game in the break room, like almost having a heart attack. Like I was, because they had to kick the game winning field goal, whatever. I think Chris Boswell kicked it. And I was like, oh my God, because I had a meme ready for the, it was when the Raiders or Chargers couldn't tie. I had like four memes lined up to, for the Steelers to make the playoffs. And I was like, dude, if they don't make the playoffs, this is going to suck. And I remember like stressing, and he made the kick. And then the Chargers almost tied. And I was on my way home, like driving and like stressing, listening to the radio. I was like, bro, what is going on? How are they about to tie? This is crazy. And then, yeah. But yeah, I, I, was, I was editing. If you, whatever I'm doing, I'm probably editing. Like, to be honest, if you, like, that's all I do. So, but yeah, it was crazy during those times in the AU circuit and the basketball scenes. But that's crazy. Speaking of Steelers, how is this? How are you a Steelers fan living in Connecticut? Oh, like, how did that start? This is an easy answer. Um, my dad. I, I grew up as a Steelers fan. I mean, I, I, the, my first football memory is the Steelers Patriots, and it's like a blurry memory of the Steelers Patriots in 2004, like very blurry, like because I was like three years old. But I was, I remember literally just seeing the TV and just seeing the two colors of the teams. And then I remember my second memory was Willie Parker's uh, touchdown run versus the Seahawks in the Super Bowl, and then just little memories here and there, but. It's always been the Steelers because my dad grew up a Steeler fan. Then just because he grew up in the 70s and it was either Steelers or Cowboys. That's pretty much who you choose. And he didn't like the Cowboys, so he went with the Steelers. So I've been a Steeler fan ever since. Thank oh. God. Because, I mean, well, recently, not really. But it's nice to be a Steeler fan sometimes. So you watched Super Bowl 40? Very. My, I watched it. I know where I was and who I was with, but I only remember one play. Willie really Parker play. <laughs> But you've seen the, you seen the, the highlights. No. Now you know it's rigged, right? No, I don't remember any of the highlights. <laughs> I've never watched the game back. No, I watched the game back. It's so rigged. It's not even funny. I don't even know how they even got away with that. I don't think it's rigged, but something was going on. I don't know. Some of the Bettis? calls were crazy. Yeah, the Jerome Bettis didn't help. But then again, they shouldn't even. Steelers shouldn't. Like, Jerome Bettis almost fumbled the season away in 2005 uh, the, versus the Colts. I remember, oh, I remember that too. My, <laughs> we were in my living room, and the game was over. Like, I remember the game was, I just remember being happy. And then he fumbled. My dad didn't say a word, walked right upstairs, slammed the door, and I remember being like, holy. I just remember being like, oh, my God. <laughs> and that's all I remember. I don't remember the kick or the miss. Yeah. But, but, yeah, but yeah, that Super Bowl is really weird. But, um, but they won. So. Seahawks yeah. got another one later. So. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But, but, okay, but you're seven, though, when you watched the 2008 Super Bowl, right? I was, how old was I in 2008? Yeah, seven or eight, probably around seven. there. I forget. Okay. But I, I don't remember. Actually, I don't remember that Super Bowl. Wow. I don't remember anything from that Super Bowl. So I probably, I don't know what was going on. I remember the 2005 one. I don't remember the 08. I don't remember James Harrison pick six. I don't remember Santonio Holmes. I remember the Packers one. Okay. Cried. Ooh, Cried ooh, myself to sleep. Ooh. I remember being so mad because all my friends were cheering for the Packers because they all just, like, picked on me. Not picked on me, but, like, they were messing around. Yeah. And I remember being so mad. And I remember literally Mike Wallace dropping the ball on third down or fourth down. And I was like, oh, my God, they just lost. Because I'm so used to winning. Because growing up, I mean, my first memory is 04. Steelers weren't bad from like 04 to like 2010. They were low key a dynasty. They won the Super Bowl versus the Packers three and six years. So I was like, I was so used to winning the Super Bowl. So when it happened, I was like, damn. And then I literally remember crying, facing the wall, crying, going to sleep. And then I woke up, wore my Steeler James Harrison jersey to school the next day because I was like, I got to. And then that was it. But yeah, that was sad. And then there's a lot of sad moments after that. The Broncos, that one hurt. I felt like crying. I don't know if I cried. I wanted to cry really bad. Um, what else? There's a lot of painful moments after that, but yeah. So what year was it like when you really started watching the Steelers? Dude, it's weird because I wasn't, I would, I didn't, the, the real, so I always played football growing up. Like I played football since fifth grade to high school senior year. Uh, I always loved football, but I always loved playing it. Like I never really would watch it like that. I'd only watch the Steelers. So if the Steelers were on TV, I'd watch them. If they weren't on TV, I'd watch the CBS four o'clock like recap, or I'd go to like, uh, some like restaurant with my dad or something or something to watch like if we didn't have the game you know what I mean so and students weren't always on TV so I would only watch primetime games or whatever so not until like college I would like actually sit down and like watch NFL games like I literally didn't have the time I didn't really care like if it was a Sunday in high school like I wasn't at home watching football you know what I mean I was probably playing or like doing something else so I would really only watched the Steelers growing up so like it's funny looking back like edits that I make from like the mid 2000s I'm like I don't remember that like I was like damn I wasn't even watching football like that like it's so weird to look at I really remember from like 2019 up from football football but yeah really watching the Steelers like locking in every game was like pretty much right when I started editing wow but That's I would only watch like I said primetime games from like 
you call me a casual. I wasn't a casual fan, though. I really knew the Steelers, and like I liked them, but we just didn't get the game. So I didn't know how to watch. I was young. So I would just watch the primetime or recaps, but I knew all the players. I knew what was going on. I knew, like, you know what I mean? But I, like, it was just, it was weird. But then once college came around, I was like, all right, well, let me dabble into uh, some streams. So I would go and I watched, like, Steeler games, all the Steeler games, and then COVID hit, and then we'd get the games. And then, yeah, ever since then, I'd watch Steelers in football. I watch all games. Like, I pretty much watch all the games now, but mm. back then I did not. So that's interesting. I'm kind of I was kind of the same way. I started watching football 2012. Mm-hmm. That was when I was in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. So 2012. Season. That's a good year. Yeah, bro. <laughs> my first game I watched was Ravens Broncos. That's crazy. I, that game was insane. I yeah. still remember that game. I, I think it's the best game in in history. Like the that's, kickoff. You know that yeah, there's, there's a couple. Kickoffs. What was it? Punt return or something? Like yeah, that? punt return. Yeah, that was crazy. Return. That game, dude. I still remember. Yeah. I was low key. Weirdly enough, I was low key for some reason here for the Ravens, but I wasn't like. I don't know why. I don't. I wasn't like cheering for the Ravens. I just didn't want to see the Broncos for some reason. And I remember it was like fourth and f- or whatever what, on Joe Flacco's throw. Dude, when he caught it, I was like, "How did that just happen?" I was more like. Then I flipped. I was like, "The Ravens shouldn't win. That was crazy." <laughs> and then they won. I was like, "Damn!" But yeah, that was crazy. That game was insane. Man, that's that's crazy. Yeah, and then 2012. Yeah, but then when I moved to Houston 2014, 2014 season, 15 season, 16 season, like I didn't really know how to watch the game, so mm-hmm. I just watched through Red Zone. Yeah, and like I would. Like, they would always, like, flash to, like, the last play. And then, like, and I remember just being – I remember 2016, I was so hyped because I remember flipping through the channels, mm-hmm. and then it showed Steelers at Ravens. Like, that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That gift I showed you with Mike Wallace, yeah, yeah. that's when he had a 95-yard touchdown. I was just so hyped. I was like, yes, I get to watch the Ravens yeah, yeah. game. I was oh, so hyped. I think I know what game you're talking about. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Game, yeah, 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 yeah. That was when uh, the Boswell kick and – Yeah, that's a kick? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, but then the next year, I got a NFL Sunday ticket mm-hmm. on DirecTV. Yeah, I didn't get that until, like, 2020. So I was wow. missing out for a while. But yeah, yeah, it's funny, like – because the Steel, it's so Steelers Ravens is so in my head because like I said I, we didn't get we only watched primetime games and like Steelers Ravens from like 2008 to 2014 was Sunday night always like at least once so mm-hmm. I would always I always just every time I hear Al Michaels and uh, Chris Collinsworth I always think of Steelers Ravens yeah. but yeah those games are crazy my, yeah. one of my favorite games was the Thanksgiving game in 2013. Oh, and Le'Veon Bell got like knocked out too. Yeah, yeah that game was Ooh, crazy. Oh yeah, they don't talk about that. They don't. I remember that game. Yeah, that yeah. was that's game I remember watching on Thanksgiving. That was yeah. tough. Yeah. We lost though. Steelers lost, right? Yeah, yeah. 22-20. Yeah. Never yeah. forget. Yeah, because he got knocked out on that touchdown. Yeah, he scored, yeah, but his they killed him. Yeah, they killed him. They yeah. like, <laughs> his helmet <laughs> came like, out so they, it ruled the play dead. Yeah, yeah, and, and they had to oh do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, crazy. Yeah. That was a good game. That's crazy. So okay, so that leads to like the end. Uh George Pickens. Yeah. How does that start? Like, where's the fandom? Easy. It it it's funny people don't like obviously they don't know because it's me, but he's such it people don't get this. Like I love t- trust me, I do like Pickens a lot. But it's mostly because for me, he's easy to edit. So, like, when I get ideas, like, I'll get ideas, and then I'm like, oh, that's a Pickens edit. Like, it just, I don't know why. I don't know. It's just something about me. It's the same reason why I edit, like, Ray Lewis all the time when I first started. Or Brian Dawkins. Or, like, Cam Chancellor. Like, it's just, those guys are my editing style kind of guys. Like, just, like, the, I don't like saying the word, but, like, the menacing guy. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, just, yeah. like, the aggressive type and, like, and it gets people going for some reason. It gets people riled up by the Pickens. So, like, it's just an easy mixture, and it's funny because every time I make a Pickens video, I was like, all right, I'll chill on him. Like, that's my last one. I know people are going to be in the comments coming at me. And then literally, like, three days later, I'll have an idea. I'm like, that's Pickens' video. Like, it just happens naturally. But I love him as a player. I think he could be really good with the right system and quarterback. I don't know about this year. We'll see. But I think he's a good player. But it's not anything, like, personal, I would say. Like, it's not like I was a Georgia guy. And he just – I don't remember. I don't – this is another thing about my casual fandom – when they picked George Pickens, I had no idea who he was. And then I remember I was watching, um, that was 2021. I think the first time I heard, like, it was the preseason. He had a nice toe tap versus the Seahawks. I was like, well, that was pretty nice. And then he had the catch versus the Browns. And after that, it was, it was, I mean, it was easy content. It's the best catch of all time, in my opinion. It is. It, it, well, I'll give OBJ. Dude, I'm telling you, if you watch that Pickens catch in slow motion, it's crazy. But OBJ's is crazy, too. So I can't – they're uncomparable to me. They're both, like, amazing. Like, it's hard to compare. But that Pickett – my opinion, the Pickens catch is so underrated because no one gives him, like, the props. Like, that catch was insane. He was, like, sideways behind his head. I mean, it was crazy. But the OBJ is crazy, too. But to me, he doesn't get enough props for that catch. But after that catch, I was like, oh, yeah. It's, I, it's, I remember I think I titled the uh, – I, I made the edit – Right when it happened, and I remember I titled like greatest catch of all time or whatever, and then after that it was done, and then I just would make Pickens edits. I don't know why, but it's just how it goes. <laughs> hey, yeah, no, I totally feel you. Like, there's always those players are just like, you know, they're just, they're just like you just like editing, and then they, yeah, just they just to connect for some players. reason. It's weird. Like, yeah. it, 
it, it just it's really weird it just kind of happened now people and it's like a weird joke now because people don't think he's good which i get i guess he doesn't have the stats but it's not like that i mean you know that but <laughs> but i get it trust me i'm not like but it's but this is what i'm saying when people are like oh Burge is just glazing pickings like why i'm not glazing i'm not saying sometimes i get a little and say he's like the greatest receiver or whatever. But it's obviously like obviously a joke. Kind of joking, kind of not. It's a little both. I want you to think I'm not joking. That's the goal. But but sometimes I'll make like a Pickens edit and it, he'll just be in the edit. People are like, oh, the glaze. I'm like, that's not glazing. Like he's in the edit. It's not like I'm not saying anything about him, but but it's which is whatever. It's fine. You can comment that. I don't care. But it's just like it's funny to me. I giggle when I see it because I'm like, it's not that serious, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> but it's funny. I'm the same way with Joe Flacco. Like, I oh just, yeah, <laughs> I just want to like recognize people to recognize his greatness. Yeah, greatness. Yeah, yeah. It, that's cool. We get to do that. Like, that's yeah. our job, dude. I've had millions of comments, probably you too, where people are like, dude, you put me on the football. Like, that's so cool. Like that, I like made an edit and someone watched it. I was like, damn, I gotta check this sport out. Like, that's cool. Like, I literally have them saved in my phone because that was when I was going through um, the YouTube. Remember when we got hit with the YouTube copyright stuff? I would be like, because they didn't think my content was too, like, whatever. I was like, bro, I'm changed. Like, people are actually, like, resonating with my content. Like, it's my content. Like, obviously, it's NFL films and stuff and their videos. But, like, I'm changing in a way where people are like, oh, I got to check this sport out, which is pretty cool. So that got me, like, I was like, damn. But I don't know. Do you ever deal with that? Like, like, like the little broness, like, where it's like they try to, like. Who? Like, anyone. Like, at, like corporations or just people, like, they try to just, like, put your. Uh, mm kind of minimize your your content and everything like that uh i don't i don't know i don't think so i mean if they do i don't care like i i, I don't care i i don't know I, maybe they do and i just don't i'm too dumb to realize it but i don't know i just do my thing yeah and whatever happens happens no that's dope you just on to the next it doesn't even yeah matter. it's really the mindset i try to stay in the present and then whatever video i make all right i made it and that's it i mean i it's a running joke my friends like i'll make a video i'm like i hate it i'll literally won't even post it yet I'm like, I don't like that video anymore. But I'll like it the whole time. I'll watch it back. The best thing about editing for me is making a video and watching it back in Premiere. Not exporting it yet. Because once you export it and it's in those drafts, it's not, it's done. It's not, it doesn't have the same magic. So, but yeah, it, and it's just, it's always been that way, like onto the next. So I don't know. Yeah, I feel the same way in doing it. But like, wait, see, so but you said that you, like, you edit like, like in like public spaces. Like mm -hmm. for me, I gotta, I'm always like alone. Like I, I feel like, like if I'm traveling with somewhere, I'm mm -hmm. in a car, like, cause I'll be replaying it and stuff. And like, I can tell like the person next to me is like, bro, turn that off. Dude. But I don't feel it or anything. Yeah. And I can, and I don't even like doing it with headphones too, because it's, it's still a little off. Yeah. Like it's like, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. like half I, a second. You have to have wired. Yeah. And then also I can't focus. Oh, I have to have wired. Yeah. I use wired as well. But then I, to, I just yeah. I that also late. can't trust it too, because I feel like sometimes when you have, uh, headphones you can hear the music a little bit better mm -hmm. so then when i take it off and then i'm like oh shoot you can't even hear the music like there's this one video like i remember it was a uh, tebow and demarius thomas like yeah. it was like mic'd up and he yeah, was yeah. talking about like oh you're about to catch a game winner or whatever but like i hated it because like i did it it was actually with xavier like we were playing madden and like we kind of stopped mm -hmm. and i was i had i think i had headphones in and I, was, I just really wasn't focused on like around so i was doing it and then like when I, as soon as I put it in the drafts, I hated it because I was like, bro, you can't even hear the music. And yeah. I was so mad. And I was like, but I posted it and it went viral. Devontae Adams reposted it and everything. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But I was like, I can't, I can't do it. But yeah. like, that's why, like, for me, when I post, like, I, I got to do it, like, in my room or anything. But yeah, you, that makes you can sense. Do it anywhere? No, I mean, I've done a, I have done I had a story recently. I was on a plane and I was editing and the flight attendant came up to me and we, like, talked for like 10 minutes just in the aisle. He's like, what are you doing? I was like, well, that's what I do. And I try to explain to him, yeah, that's pretty cool. I forget what he said, but he told me to kind of keep going, whatever. But I didn't tell him who I was or anything. I wasn't gonna like, it's kind of weird, but I was like, yeah, I'm just editing. And it's like, it's fun. And he's like, oh, cool. And then we just talked about Premiere. I think he kind of edited too. So it was just funny, but yeah, I've always been like, I don't know. I mean, once I get the headphones on, it's it, it's not that hard. And like I said, like when I, like for the basketball AU events, I've been doing it for so like for last two years just like repeating the same thing over and over again where I got so used to it, it's like second nature. So like, even if it was loud environments, I knew, all right, I want the beat drop here, I want this, I want this, how long, 10 seconds, whatever, and then it'd be done. Like it wasn't like, it wasn't that crazy. But if I started, if I was doing like, if that was in 2019, I'd have no idea what to do. You know what I mean? But I've been just doing it for so long that like, I got used to it and it was just easier. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna start trying to like, I don't know about basketball games cause like they, they're always like so quick. Yeah, no. But, it's yeah. it's 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 definitely dangerous too because you just have your laptop like right there and yeah, like yeah. anything can happen. I'd be like, yeah, put my hand out. I mean, it's it, it's scary, but I had to do it. I just, I, it literally made me feel safer. Like I was like, I can't. Like like I said, like it, it gives you like or me 
like anxiety when I'm like not posting. And even like I said in the off season, it's just so weird. Even right now, I feel like, like there should be a football game on, but soon it's coming because it comes quick every year. But like it's just so weird. I'm so used to it now, where it's like it's just a part of me. Like it's it's very weird to say that, but it it is it's true. But you ever, have you ever thought about doing other sports? Have you done any other sports? Like, like seen basketball or football? Like um like what like editing or filming? Both. Both. So both. I only I've done baseball, but baseball so hard. In in <laughs> like maybe not like the MLB, but like just high school or something. It's like get kids up like three times, and he plays center field. So good luck with that. But um but. But yeah, no, I've always just been drawn to football and basketball because I like it. It's my favorite sports. I mean, I grew up loving football, and then I transitioned to loving basketball with my high school. Still loving football, but basketball definitely more. It was easier to practice. And then, um, but I've always been, nat- not naturally, but I've always been good at football just because I watch so much. I'm a very visual, like, learner. So I would grow up literally just watching, like, even if I wasn't watching the Steelers, I'd still watch, like, like I said, the recaps, and I'd be just watching my – Content was football. If it was me on the floor with my helmets, like playing, like, you know what I mean? Like making scenarios up or outside my friends or on TV. It was always about sports and football. And then Madden. Madden helped me a lot. Like learning football and like playing. Because I'd play Madden all the time. I'd make franchises and try to repeat the Steelers 05, 06 run. So it'd be Madden 06. And I remember I was so sad because when Madden 07 came out, they didn't have Jerome Bettis. It, br- it hurt. Like, because I was like, I always loved playing with him. It was him and Willie. Those were my guys. And I was like, they're still my favorite players of all time. And I was like, I got to have the one-two punch. And then I lost Bettis. And I was like, damn, I only got Willie. But, but yeah, I mean, Madden helped me a lot. And then uh, to answer your question, I don't think I would. Uh, it's just, I don't love it as n- enough. And it just, I try to do things that I only love because that's going to be the best content out of me. Because if I do stuff I learned over the years, filming, mo- especially filming and editing, if I don't love it, it, it's almost like a job. It turns into a job. But when you love it, it's not a job. So, like, early on, I had a, uh, a gig. Not gig, but, like, I was editing for this YouTuber. Hate, like, dude, I, it literally made me stop. Like, I, I'm like, I don't want to edit anymore. Like, this is awful. I didn't mean, like, deadlines for him. And the videos were trash to me. Like, they weren't, like, and looking back, and they weren't that good, obviously. Maybe his was better, but I didn't like editing them. And there was just, like, storylines and, like, you had to find, like... And YouTube copyright was so crazy back then. You could only use, like, five seconds of a clip. And he's like, make sure it's only five seconds or you don't get paid. Like, I was only getting paid off the views. And I remember, like, it was, like, 10K views. Like, I'm not getting paid. Like, there's... He's making maybe 50 bucks off this. So I was like, yeah. I remember I made, like, two videos for him. And I was like, yeah, I'm done. He got butter. He got pretty tight. I was like, bro, I'm not... It's whatever. Like, we don't have a signed contract. I'm just kind of just doing it for you, like, freelancing. And, um, but yeah, and, and I haven't talked to him since. But I don't think he posts anymore, actually. He, had, he was a pretty yeah, big channel. He ended his career. Dude, yeah, <laughs> low-key. He had like 450K and just gone. I'm like, damn, I could never. Like, I remember I used to see that and be like, bro, I was sitting at like 1,000 subs. I was like, dude, how are people just stopping? And like, it just blew my mind sometimes. But yeah, he stopped and then I kept going. And yeah, that was it. No, oh, that's crazy. Wait, so wait, like, did you start like doing it or like? What do you mean? Like, like, did you start doing it like when while doing the TikTok stuff? Oh, yeah, I was still doing everything. It was, that was probably in COVID. That was. Okay. That was, so I wasn't doing TikTok yet. That was like late, that was like August, 2020. So I was just doing Instagram. So I'd make mixes and then I'd be like, that's so much more fun. Then I'd go to his and like, God, like, cause he literally sent me docs of like what he wants the story to be. And I do, I, I didn't get paid for revisions and he'd always want to revise like edits. Dude, my first video, this, I don't want to say, I can't say, cause I don't want to put him under the bus, but it was a player that like, he didn't have footage and he was trash. I'm like, dude, no one cares about this dude. I want to say his name so bad if I'm not going to say it, but I'm like, no one cares about it. Like no one's watched this video. And I was right. But also the video probably wasn't that great, but still. So I was like, damn. And I was editing. I was like, this is so trash. I remember the first edit took me like all day. Like I'd be like, and just like, and it would all day, meaning like the first five minutes. Like I didn't know what he wanted. Cause I'd send him like the intro. He'd be like, no, I'm like, damn. <laughs> I was like, all right. So I do it again. No. And it literally just went for like a week, couple weeks straight. Finally, he posted. I was so happy. Like, I was, it was just such a, like, relief. And then literally he sent me the next script. I was like, yeah, I can't do it. This is crazy. Like, I remember sitting in my room, just, like, texting my friend. I was like, I can't do this. Like, there's just no way. But that was, at the time, the only way I was making money from editing. Like, I didn't have TikTok, YouTube, whatever. So I didn't know, like, I'm so naive. Like, I didn't know the other ways yet. So I was like, damn, this is the only way. Like, I'm, I don't have a job. Like, I'm just editing for him, barely getting paid. But I was like, I can't, I don't like it. Like, I'm, I don't want to do this. So I just stopped. And then I remember I made, like, I just kept going on the Instagram mixes. And I made, I think, a couple of YouTube mixes that did well. Like, very well, actually. I made, like, a LeBron mix. They got, like, 27K, which was pretty, and it was the same time I was editing for that dude. And I remember he DM'd me. He was like, why don't you make your videos, why don't you make my videos like your videos? I was like, brother, you're the one changing all the 
edit. Like, I, I'm doing what you want me to do. So, but then I was like, we had good terms, like, leaving. He was whatever. But it was just, it's tough. It, in his shoes, he literally hired me, like, a month earlier, and then I quit. So, it's, it is tough, but... That just it just got me going where I'm like I'm just gonna edit and create what I want to create and what I love to do and it's just easier that way. I'm the same way with sponsorships. Like yeah, I I, I used to do like everything and everything, mm -hmm. anything and everything, but then I realized like dang I really don't like doing it and then the revisions used to piss me off. Yep. Like I used to work for uh, Major League Rugby mm -hmm. and like it was oh, great. I think I Oh, what did I say? I think they, I think I, someone rugby hit me up one time and I was like ah eh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, and he went to me. I was the backup. It might have been or no or, or just. What you're about to say, then he went to me. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> but, like, I used to do it. Like, it was really good, but then, like, and the money was good. Yeah. But it's, like, the revisions and stuff like that. And I didn't really like the content, and it wasn't, like, it just wasn't me. I just love it's not worth like, it. What, yeah, yeah. With what I like to do. So, like, I, like, even with, like, I don't even really be doing, like, sponsorships like that anymore. Me either. Like, no, I, I never to, do. Yeah, I just have to just decline it because, like, just you're promoting a, pro a, a project that you don't like and or a product. Yeah. And it's it's just, mostly, too, yeah. like, for me and our creators, like, when you're not doing, people don't really understand, I think, when you're not doing in real life or IRL content, like, it's harder to get brands because your brand is not you. Like, brands want you, but my brand or content is not me. So it's hard to get, and then it would be, like, sketchy sports betting companies. I'm like, I'm not promoting sports betting to my 10-year-old audience. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't, it doesn't fit. But that's the only people that really reach out. So I don't take sponsorship really i mean maybe if i start doing more in like irl stuff i'll get maybe better ones but like i'm not really too worried about because like you said like i don't it's better to just make videos that you want to make and then see what happens in my opinion yeah the good thing is is that like the the top ones the good ones like nfl or youtube like they'll work with you like when i did the one with las vegas like they basically said they gave you the platform and it's like yeah that's crazy you want. that's sick yeah appreciate yeah, it i don't yeah. know yeah i don't know how fond the nfl is with our kind of content, but that's pretty cool. No, no it's, it's coming though, for sure. Oh, 100%. Really cool. No, it's coming. It's on its way because NBA already, ha it already happened in the NBA. Adam Silver loves like those guys. Not yeah. like mutually, <laughs> but like, because it, it's it's not rocket science. Like, we're, I'm not trying to be like cocky. We're helping the league. It's not crazy. We're literally pushing the league out to more audiences and more faces and newer audiences. So it will eventually come, but it is weird. It's a weird balance because of copyright and it's not our footage and songs. It sucks. In 20, it's, it, you'd think it would have got better in 2024, but it really has. Nothing's changed. It's been the same ever since I started, but yeah, one day. And TikTok already made it higher where it's like, if it's 59 seconds, you don't get any ascent, yeah. but it's a minute. Oh yeah. And then sure. it's like, if, yeah, it's it, TikTok's weird too. And, and it's funny to go back on that. Like, for people that don't know, it's like you can only post the new. It's actually it's the only thing now. They don't have short form. You don't get paid for short form anymore. Yeah. It's only one minute plus videos. And if you have to have like what is that a K now or a thousand followers, they lowered it, which yeah. was crazy. Never should have lowered it yeah. because then more people came in, and it's just harder because it just they it should have been a hundred K because now people like the clipping accounts. They'll make an account and have a, like a thousand followers, and then everyone and I, it just don't see. What the not to come back on the clipping accounts, but I think that's what like TikTok and like the NFL think we do, which sucks because it hurts us because it's not what we do. We're making legit stories out of these videos and players, and it helps them. Like I'm not really, I don't think I've ever made a video like shooting down on a player before, unless like it was like a joke. Like Dan, uh, one comes to mind, the Daniel Jones when he fell versus the Eagles, but that was it. It's just for fun. But um, but yeah, you have to make like a one minute video or whatever, and then um, they lowered I think to like a K. And at the start, I was like, there's no way I'm doing this. Like, I remember I got it in last year's, last summer, like June. And it, the dog days of summer, where there's nothing to post. You're getting maybe a good day is like 10K views for me. And then I remember, um, I remember I was like, I'll just join, whatever. I remember seeing something on Twitter, like someone saying like they made 10K or something in five months or uh, something crazy. I was like, damn, 10K? I'm like, I'm making like, like the TikTok short form was like nothing back then. Like 13 million views would be like, 200 bucks and you're like nice that's a good day <laughs> um which is crazy 13 million people you get 200 dollars but um but yeah now it's different where like and like i said i started I would, I would be making the dumbest one minute videos like not dumbest but people sometimes liked them it'd be like top 10 videos because i didn't know what to make i was so used it was actually bad thank god this came around because i didn't know i was so stuck on like 10 to 15 second edits where i'm like dude i don't know what to make it like tested me as like a creator because i was like bro i don't know what i'm doing even now with long form, not to come back to like, but like, it's like a stage. Like, so I started short form, got the hang of that. And I was like, all right, I gotta make a minute content. I was like, damn, what do I do to make a minute of content? And then I started with like top 10 edits, uh, top 10 catches, stuff like that, top 10 players. 
Um, and then the season came around. And I was like, I don't know what to do. And I remember the first, I remember I made the Travis Hunter video at halftime. At halftime. He had halftime worthy video. It was like the pick, um, the drop pick or whatever, the end zone. He had a couple plays. And then Deion saying like, the Heisman sitting at the crib. I was like, dude, that's so easy. That's like the best intro like of all time. Like, so I just threw it in there, made an edit video to whatever. Blue. Like three million in two days. I was like, holy. And then I'm like, and then the money you get from that is not bad at the time. Like, meaning because people don't know too, your RPM fluctuates. So if you the more views you get, the lower your RPM goes. Not a lot of people know that because they think like, oh, this dude got 10 million views. He got whatever uh thousand dollar or one dollar thousand uh a dollar per a thousand views. It's not like that. It's he probably got like 0.5 cents. Like I remember a LeBron video one time. And my that was when my RPM was like it literally it was my RPM was 0.2 cents per a thousand views. The LeBron video got four million views. I made five bucks. Like what's the point of even doing this? So, but uh, but yeah, like I was trying to get to the minute view. The videos were hard to make, but then I eventually got to them, and now I'm in the same boat with long form content. Like I'll make a long form video. I'm like, dude, how do I get someone to watch eight minutes of this? Like. That's so hard. It's so underrated how hard it is. Like people don't even know. Like people just think they like make YouTube videos and like post and you get like a thousand. You know what I mean? Like it, people are not in our like niche, like or niche, niche. It's so hard. Like I'm telling you, it's so hard. Thank God I didn't think it was hard at the time. Like to go back to how I started because I really didn't think it was hard. And then I started doing it and I just kept doing it. It's just my natural. It's just how I've always been. But looking back on it, if I knew how hard it was, I, I don't know if I would have started. But, yeah, it's, 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 it's difficult because long form is the hardest, especially nowadays with you make five-second videos, people get bored because there's just so much options and scrolling and TV, phone, laptop, you know what I mean? Person in front of you talking. <laughs> like, it's hard. So, but, yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's a little easier, but it's hard to get the hang of it. Yeah, I agree. That's where I'm in, like, right now, like, working on that, that long-term video because it mm -hmm. just – it takes time to try kind of figure it out. And that's how it was with the one minute videos yep. on TikTok. I was like, I don't even know what I did to start off. Dude, and, yeah. <laughs> and, and the thing was frustrating because like, I think I, I did I did a couple that didn't do well. Mm -hmm. Then I had some that did well and then they would just get disqualified like, yeah. for no reason. Yeah. I'll, put, I'll send a whole thing like, this is unfair. Like bro, I mean. put so much time in this and then they would just deny it. And I was just like, bro, what am I doing? And then, but now I've gotten the hang of it and now I don't even want to make any like, no, I no, really yeah, do, I know what you mean. I, I, I'm I know just what like, mean. there's no point. Nope, you know? I know what you mean. I, I, yeah. I, I got so used to one minute that I got, I was like, you almost get like, like damn, I can't make a 10 second video right now. So mm -hmm. you have to do something else to like, kind of hold it. Like sometimes I'll post yeah. like 10 to 20 second edits on t YouTube or something. Cause like people like them still, but I just don't post them that much anymore. But it's like, it's so weird. Cause I'm like, I watch it back. I'm like, I, I can't even like, it's just so weird. Cause you're so used to one minute videos. And then like, mm -hmm. They, like I said, the long, or like you said, the long form content comes around. It's like, dude, where am I even going with this? Like, where was I? Because you, it's so long. The video is so like eight minutes is so long in editing. Where like your thought process on day one compared to day ten or day five or day six is so different that you forget where you were. Like I remember the like Drew Lock video. I was literally seven minutes in. I'm like, where am I going with this? Like I forget what I was even saying. And then I and then you have to make it a story because no one's gonna watch just a video of like you know what I mean. You have to make some someone's gotta tune in and be like, all right, why am I watching? It's not just random players going around. Like you know what I mean. That's why I've learned mostly from the one minute videos where like people are not gonna sit down. You have to make people care. Like it's not it's some random edit or some random video. Like it's cool with the edits and flashiness and whatever. But if at the end of the day, if no one cares, the video's not gonna do well. You could spend five, 10, 20 hours on it and it could be trash. And then that's where it comes in where people are like, well, my video is good. Why did it not get views? The algorithm must hate me. But it's like, well, people didn't care. You cared because you made the video. But if I watched it, why would I care? Like I wasn't there with you making the video for 20 hours. So I try to think like that sometimes where I like I'm a viewer and not a creator because like they don't care that you're the you're literally one video out of a, a thousand videos they're seeing that day. Maybe that morning, like who knows how many people scroll for hours. So like, it's very, it, that, that was my biggest challenge this year, but I've been growing in my opinion this year where I was like, all right, let me actually sit down. And that's where the off season helps because like, that's when you really practice and hone it in where when September, October, November comes around where it's real money making season, that's where you can be like, all right, this is what I'm going to make. I know what I can make. I know what content I should be making, what people want to watch. And then it gets better from there. So it's just about learning and like doing it. So now nah, we're really thinking the same way. That's what I'm trying to do, like yeah. this summer, like especially with the long form YouTube. I'm really trying to knock. Me that too. Down. I'm really trying yeah. to lock in. It's hard. It's yeah. so hard to lock in because, like, 
it's so long and like the ideas you don't know if, and then you make that video and you're like are people going to watch it like you don't even know and that's the crazy part about what we do it's like you don't even know and that's why it's a little better with like short form content because it's like all right well and that video took me a couple too. hours yeah. whatever it's if they don't see it they don't see it but long form you can make a video it could do terrible and then two years it could be like oh it's that 30k views what the what happened like you know what i mean or 50k or 100k or whatever so it's it's weird. Long form is so weird, but it's it is definitely a good struggle to struggle with because once you get the hang of it, it's like a really good talent. Like not many people can make you not a lot of people can sit you in front of a computer and watch eight minutes of what you made. So once you get to that or ten minutes or twenty minutes, whatever it is, once you get there, it's 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 cool. I have two things on that. The one thing is that like also it's also makes it a lot easier if you love it. Like oh yeah. I love like the videos. Well, it's funny because I grow so much from between YouTube, long form YouTube video, YouTube video, mm -hmm. where it's like I can't watch the old ones anymore. Mm -hmm. But when I post it, I can watch it mm -hmm. 30 times in a row. Yeah, I'll watch the premiere with them. And then I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm done. And then the premiere might stop. I don't know if people like, I like doing the premiere, but people don't watch the video. And yeah. that, that pains me. Like the Drew Locke one I remember I made. And like everyone was just commenting and asking me stuff. I'm like, watch the video. The premiere is for us to watch the video together as like a family. <laughs> like we're not like, we're not, I don't want you talking to me. No disrespect. You can it's talk like, to me, but like, look at the screen. Yeah. Kid, look, look at the, the screen. screen. <laughs> so then they don't watch the video. So I might just stop premiering my long form content. Cause like, I don't know. It, it was cool at first. Like, especially when I made like the Super Bowl hype videos and stuff, that was cool. Cause people would watch them. But like when I want people to actually like listen to me talk and then they're not, I'm like, well, you're not watching the video. There's no point of doing this. So I don't know. But yeah, you're right. That totally reminds me, like, I think the most hate I ever get is on my YouTube long form because mm -hmm. they just don't understand the algorithm. They see verified 253,000 yeah. subscribers yeah, and, then the, and they only see like 800 the views. views and they're like, why are you buying subs? Yeah. Da -da -da -da. No, like on my mic up content. Yeah. yeah. My mic up vid for 12 year olds. It's like, like, there's no way that it's, it's like the most, most likes, like 300 likes is like, there's no way this dude like has all of this that's crazy. And stuff like that. You, he definitely bought subs and stuff and they're going back and forth. It's like, oh, he posts NFL, da, 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 da. like that's, that's why crazy. he's up there. And I'm just like, and that's the thing I kind of like, it's kind of stupid because I don't like it because like, even it's for a blessing me, I don't like, curse. Yeah, sure it's a blessing the curse. Like, yeah. I don't like seeing 800 views and then 253. No one and does. also, I know yeah. how it works. Yeah. But now what I really realize is that like, I just really just have to, I really just have to just put in the work. Yeah, lock in. It's, re yeah. it's really that simple. It's funny, people ask me all the time like, how do I get better? How do I like whatever? Just do it. Like it's not like rocket science. Just lock in and actually create content. And create what you want to create. It's gonna be bad. Trust me. Mine was awful. It's gonna be bad at first, but then once you get the hang of it, it gets better. And in two years, I'm gonna look back today and be like, damn, that video I made today was trash. But that's the goal. Like once you get to that level where you're like, you can look yourself in the mirror, and be like, all right, that wasn't that good. But what did I do wrong? How can I fix it? And then applying that and then making the video better. And then the best feeling is when the video does well. You're like, all right, he liked or she, he, whatever, liked that point. Let me try to stick with something like that. And then and then it just builds. It's, a, it's literally, it just builds. Each video builds on, its, on itself. And then once you get going, you get going. For me, at least. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me get to the fan questions real <laughs> quick. Because we had, bro, so many George Pickens questions was crazy. <laughs> all right. So the first one was like, Jay... 2CXR, why said, like, why, what gives you motivation to post? Easy. I just like doing it. It's not motivation. It's just a part of me now. It's not even like, I'll have days where I don't want to edit, but I edit. And like, and it's not like I'm like, oh, edit every day. Like, sometimes I don't. I, I'll go for a run. I'll be like, I don't want to edit. But then I'm usually doing something that will help me edit. Like, I can't just like not, like, even if I watch a movie, I watch how the story is made and how it's written out, especially now with long form. That's something I've been doing. Like, I'll watch TV shows and be like, all right, where was the conflict? Where was, the beginning what happened at the end how do they wrap it all up because it, it helps you really watch like for creators that like make long form or even short form if you watch other art it helps for me at least and that's what i've been doing then like I, like i said if i don't want to edit i'll watch a youtube video on how what i should do here or there's a lot of good creators out there that help people out with youtube and stuff like that or tiktok or instagram whatever content in general i'll uh I'll consume other content. Like a lot of my brainstorming ideas will just be scrolling through TikTok and listening to music. I won't even watch the video. I'll just listen to music. And I was actually, I was thinking about this today on my run because I run before I run and walk and that's usually where I get my ideas when I work out. And I was like, I got to tell them my, I forgot, good thing I remember this, but my, what really opened up editing for me and like my like changed something in my brain was 2021 on TikTok was some Yeet song. Which is so weird to say, but like like an artist like changed my way. But he did like whatever it was. I forget the song, but I just remember from that day on, I started making better content. Like I would like I heard that song. I probably made an edit to it. But like even if I didn't use his songs, I would still make. It was something about like 
I don't know, the beat or whatever. If something in that song helped me a lot with like creating content. I don't know, that was very random with the motivation part, but <laughs> but that, that helped a lot. But yeah, short story, or long story short, motivation is just because I like to do it. So it's it's very easy and it's, I guess, not like discipline, but like I like to do it, I'm going to do it. If I don't want to do it, I'll probably learn something else to do it. And then I'll have days where I'll grind, where I'm like 2 p.m. to like 2 a.m. I'm just editing. Like literally yesterday, I was editing like all day basically after I lifted. So yeah. That's dope. This is like one of the, the most requested ones mm -hmm. by my boy Flock Rams. He has two questions. First one, he's like, why are you so Hollywood? And then <laughs> the second one is... I know, I, I have an answer to that. <laughs> where do you get your clips? Because he says, Easy he thinks again. it's like some crazy science. No. I, I know what it is, but... Yeah, YouTube. It? It's not crazy. All right, for first one, why am I so Hollywood? I'm not Hollywood. Because this is what happened when I first started. I would follow back people. And then people would get mad that I didn't follow them back. Like, I'd have follow back like 50 people or whatever. And then people would be like... Oh, you didn't follow me back though. I'm like, well, I don't go on TikTok like that. Like, I'm not looking at other. I don't know. I'm not trying. Like, I don't really look at creators' posts. The only ones I look at occasionally would be like on Instagram. Actually, like, I'll follow some dudes on Instagram that are really good. Like that, I like look at and stuff like that. But on TikTok, I'm not really on TikTok like that. Like, I'm just on the for you page, like scrolling through, but listening to music. Like, I don't really like follow people like that. So I follow like six, and it's like mostly like it might be like family accounts, like that my friend, like you know what I mean. It's not even like account, like. And it's it, I private it because I don't want anyone to see it. And then and then it's been so long like that where I'm like now if I start following back people, it'd be kind of weird because then I gotta follow. It's like to me, I gotta please everyone. I'm like, I guess I would say a people pleaser. So I'm like, oh, I gotta follow back everyone. So it's not Hollywood. Like that dude probably makes fire edits. Like I'm not like hating on anyone. It's just I don't. And and I wouldn't even say Hollywood because I do comment back. Like it's not like I'm like, don't comment any. Like I every time someone says first or fire edit, I always try to respond. So I wouldn't really necessarily. I guess I'm kind of Hollywood, but I wouldn't say I'm Hollywood. Trust me, especially if you meet me. Like I'm not like. Hollywood, <laughs> but um, and then the clips, yeah, YouTube. I mean, or social media. It's anywhere. You just gotta look. It's not like it's really not a science. It's, it's YouTube, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Twitter, and that's it. And then you just gotta know where to look. That's crazy. I didn't know it was actually YouTube. I thought it was like like video capture card. Like, oh no, I don't do that. Yeah, people really? always thought that. That's so. I don't know how to do that. You could do it. I always wanted to ask. Um, I should have. I've been kind of like, I should have asked him. But uh, you know, highlight heaven. Yeah. I always wanted to ask him, like, how do you get your, what do you, because they think I'm him. Like, they think what he does, I do, but I don't. I just wait. Or if it's, like, really dire, I'll, like, find a way. But then if I can't find the clip, I have a, um, uh, I don't know if I should, <laughs> I have, like, an NFL account where I can go back and watch the games and see where it happened. Mm -hmm. So I'll, like, write down, like, timestamps, like, in the game. Like, I'm, like, really, like, locked in, like, this past year and probably be again this year. I'll write down, I'm like, oh, I got to use that. Like, if something happened, like a fight or a push or a catch or a hit, I'm like, all right. And they're not going to show the replay because I know they won't want to see that. People don't, like, the NFL doesn't want to push hard hits. Um, I'll write it down. But, um, yeah, it's not really, it's just social media. I don't really capture card. I probably should. Probably be a lot easier, quicker. That it would be probably quicker, but I don't. That's crazy. I do it for, like, certain videos, like, mixes, like, I had one uh, OBJ Thursday night against the Bengals. Like, yeah, I, I got home. You might have to teach me that because I don't know how to do that. Like, oh, I, yeah. And I'm I think sure. I have a capture, capture card, like the HD60 or whatever. Yeah, yeah I yeah. have one. So I probably oh. could do it. I just don't know how. Yeah. It's, I think it's a lot easier in terms of editing because you I just. I got to lock in on that. Yeah, rewind See? and then record. Learning. And, yeah. Hey. I learn every day. Like, I, people think I'm like, at the, I don't know anything. I don't. Like, I just edit and, like, it just, whatever happens, happens. And I feel like I'm always learning. That's another thing. Like, if you're constantly learning, you're going to get better and improve. So, yeah. But, you got to have that mindset. Yeah. Too, literally. Open book. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, Bears fan two asks you, "How are you so cute?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just I was blessed. It's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Oh, uh, Sporty NFL. He asks you, "How long was the longest form of content that you've ever made? How long did it take you to make that?" <sighs> I don't know. Like I, I would say, like realistically, editing time probably no longer than like combined, like a day, like twenty four hours. But it's not. It wasn't like 25 hours straight. Like I'd break it up. So like for a long, like for example, like a long form video, I'd have like three hours a night, three hours a night, three hours a night. So like, I don't know what specific video. The Drew Lock video took me a while because I was procrastinating. Um, but there's probably some mixes that I'm forgetting about from like 2021. Like the LeBron one probably took me a minute because I was just starting out. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't say more than like eight to 12 hours, realistically, which is probably not a brag. Like I probably should be spending more time. Per TikTok. Oh, you're talking about TikTok? Oh, no. I'm, I was I'm talking about general. general. Oh, yeah, in general, general okay. probably my longest video I ever made was like 8 to 12 hours at any uh, time. But I, like I said, I probably should make it longer. But the okay. problem with me, and this has been my whole life, like I'll make something and I'll be like, all right, it's done. Like I won't even like go back and like, like I edit like 
um, chronology, chron- I can't say the word, uh, but in like order. So like if I make something in the first like minute, I rarely go back and look at it and be like, oh, I should add something here. Unless I watch it back, I'm like, oh, I miss- it's missing something. But that's like a curse because it probably, the video could be better, but I just never go back and like kind of watch it and be like, all right, let me go change something here. Usually I watch it. And then I'm like, all right, that's good. And then, like I said, if it's really bad, I'll be like, all right, let me change something. But it's rare. See, you know, a lot of these people are like, they're like kids. So yeah, they yeah, talk, yeah. No, they the word, right they, yeah, they use the word glaze a lot. I don't like using it, but. Yeah, Nick said. King K. <laughs> Beditz says that instead of a question, give them a demand to stop glazing the Steelers. Yeah, see, that's not going to happen. I mean, because I, I don't, like I said, like, what, you, if a Steeler play comes up, you want not they can edit. Like, I don't glaze the Steelers. Maybe I do. I don't know. But I. I personally just, if an edit comes up in mind, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna make it. And like, if they don't wanna watch it, they don't have to watch it. But I wouldn't say, like, I get some comments, people are like, oh, another George Pickens video. Like, I make a lot of content. It's not like I'm only making Steeler videos. Like, if I was, I'd only be a Steeler page. But I, I do think I make multiple content. I do glaze jokingly the Steelers. I'll be like, Steelers win the Super Bowl. Like, when they played the Chiefs in 2021, obviously they weren't gonna win. They were like 15 point underdogs. But I would glaze, I guess, if that's the word they wanna use. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess I'll tone back the Steelers videos, but it's not like, it's nothing personal or serious. Like, it's kind of just jokes, usually. But I do believe the Steelers will do well this year, but I'm not going to, like, glaze them unless it's, like, a joke. Like, you know what I mean? People laugh at it, and that's the point of content, so. Yeah, no, I do the same thing. Yeah, like, yeah that's what I'm, everyone really does. Is, like, yeah. every creator in our position has its own, like, they, they have their jokes. Like, it's not like, but some people take it serious, which is, I guess, the point. Yeah. But. No, I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> well, we kind of went over this, but Legacy DM... Legacy DMI7893 asks you, what do you enjoy outside of content creation? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Not just much. Does nothing. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> yeah, I like running. I like basketball. Like, uh, it's funny. I lo- everything I'm getting to. I like running, lifting, basketball, and eating, which is funny, eating. But I like food. I don't know. I'm a food guy. <laughs> um, and I like watching movies. But most of, if not all that besides eating, is hand in hand with creating content, which is weird, but it's true. I get most of my ideas when I work out. If it's basketball, lifting, running, walking, I walk a lot um, after I run. And then when I'm watching movies, I'm always trying to learn. Like if I'm, even if I'm in, entertained or watching the movie, it's just second nature. Or like, it's like a habit now where I'm like, oh, like just a little memory jot. Like, oh, okay, that's where they did that. And I, I could still watch it. Like I don't watch with captions. I watch the movie. Like, but I, I always, <laughs> I always remember certain things that I try to remember, especially with TV shows, way easier TV shows because smaller or shorter. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm normal, I guess. Like, I like the usual things. Like, but uh, I usually when I find something, I put most of my effort in. Like, I mean, on weekends, I'm usually in editing. Like, because that's what I like to do. Like, and it's it's not like a job. Like, it's not like I'm trapped in my room. Like, oh, damn, I got to edit today. Like, no, it's like, oh, dude, NFL's on. I got my laptop right here, and I can create content for the next 10 hours. That's like a great day. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like so... Yeah, things that like that you like to do. Yeah, I just do them. That's all I do. Anything I like, I do. So. Yeah, that's interesting that you get ideas like that. Like, for me, like I tell myself, like I need to get out more, mm-hmm. like so I can get those ideas. Because the only time, like I get like my best ideas is when I'm at church. Because that's when I'm just sitting down. Yeah, yeah, and yeah that I'm makes sense. I get them when I'm, I get them when I go to sleep. When you go, oh, that too, bro. Yeah, it hit and then, me. And then you can't sleep. Then I write it down. I have a notepad. It's called Birch. It's right yeah. in my next to my bed. <laughs> um, I have a notepad now, and it just my ideas. I never shut my like. Even when I'm, like, I've dreamt about, like, creating, like, I'll dream that I'm editing, like, sometimes. Or I'll dream that I'm, like, in a story that I already, like, thought about going to bed. Like, it's crazy. And it, it's it's almost dangerous in a way because, like, like you said, like, you got to get out more. And then you get out and you're, like, the only thing I'm thinking about is editing. Like, if I hang out with my friends, I'm, like, the only thing I'm really thinking about is what's the next piece of content I got to create or what, what can I do better? Because there's always better, like we said in the beginning. Like, there's no end goal. Like, you're always trying to get better. So it's so hard. It's like a blessing and a curse where you're like so locked in where I don't know what else to do. Like I'm just, it's so human nature. It's literally the only thing I really love to do. So I'm always going to do it. So when I'm not doing it, I'm thinking about it. You know what I mean? But yeah, no, my mom makes fun of me too. Cause like yeah. I watch, cause well, actually I usually I was in college. So I'd always just, they didn't really know how. I yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I've come home. Literally all I do is watch football, but like, what people don't understand is that like I get so many ideas from it. Like oh yeah, I'll just be watching. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're like, right. Yeah, yeah you're it's right. for fun. Like I watch it. Like 
I was watching the other day. I was watching uh, Seahawks Patriots 2012 NFL replay, mm-hmm. and all these ideas started coming. Yeah. I'm thinking like, oh, I can I can commentate on this. Yeah, can, especially for your yeah yeah stories I'm, that you forgot. I'm like, yeah. oh, that happened. That ha- I just recently had that idea. I'm making a um, video right now, the long form. I don't want to. I could say it, I guess. No, eh, no, nah, nah, I won't nah. say it, but it's the same thing. I literally was looking up for a short form video, saw the article. I was like, that happened. I was like, what? I'm like, oh, I gotta make that, and it works with my brand. I'm like, I'm making that. Might be a little Steelers related, but it, it's <laughs> the NFL. But um, but Steelers are like the main focal point. But but it's the same thing. Like it just sometimes just watching football or like stuff like that will just spark your interest like really quickly. Yeah, and, that, and that's that's the best way. Like I love it when that happens. Like even I hate it too because like I try to go without my phone times, but then yeah, I start watching it and I'm like, oh. But that's interesting also that you watch movies too because I I'm trying to get into movies. Like I have a whole list. Oh yeah, like, I have forty lists of movies. I love but movies, I just, but I can't watch it because I'd be like. I'd be like, dang, I could really be doing something else. And I like, get that too, yeah. but sometimes I just gotta shut my brain off. Like, dude, you're still learning. Like, my brother right. asked me that. Brother, my brother's like, how do you have the time to sit down and watch a two-hour movie at like, well, because I'm, it's really not crazy because I'm watching it. Like, I'll finish editing and be like, all right, well, I did good today. It's like 11 p.m. Let me just throw on a movie, and I can mm. still learn. And then I watch the movie, and it's like, usually if it's a good movie, I'm like, damn, that was a good movie. I learned something. All right, sweet. But I'll still be thinking about editing. Like, I'll still be thinking about. The next, you know what I mean? But it's yeah. it's 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 like both. My brain's like half off. Like half of it's learning, half of it's like, all right, let's just watch the movie. But yeah. and, that, and, that, and that's the best way. That's yeah, the best way to do it. <laughs> Lions, Lions win the Super Bowl. Questionable name, but he asks. Oh, I thought why. that was a question. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he asks him. He, he asks you why George Pickens sucks. Why he sucks? Yeah. Uh, cause he didn't have a court. He had Kenny Pickett throwing the ball. I mean, it's an easy answer. Even though I love Kenny. I don't love Kenny. I hate Kenny. I like Kenny. We have a love hate relationship with Kenny, <laughs> but I have a nice couple of memes on the phone with Kenny, but <laughs> he was a tough watch last, like a tough watch last year. But, um, but yeah, I think he has talent. Every wide receiver has talent in the NFL. Like if you don't make, if you made the NFL, you have talent. So I think he really does have talent and he's only year three, I think. So I don't think he sucks. I mean, he had a thousand yards on like 50 catches last year. Something crazy. Something like crazy. So I don't think he sucks, but people just don't like him because people glaze him like me, I guess. Um, and then he's a Steeler. No one likes, like big teams like Cowboys, Steelers, Patriots, used to be Patriots. Um, they always get hate, which makes sense. So I'm used to it. Uh, but yeah, I don't think he sucks. I wouldn't say he sucks. He's, he's, he has, to me, he has like legit, I'm not even, he has like top five potential, like potential body wise, how he plays, how he moves. If he has a good quarterback, like if he was on the Chiefs, I'm just saying, like it's not crazy to say he'd be a top five receiver, but he's no, he's no like Justin Jefferson, where Justin Jefferson's playing with. I mean, Kirk Cousins is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. If mm-hmm. George Pickens had Kirk Cousins, he'd probably be pretty good. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe he'll do well with Russell Wilson, and he doesn't suck anymore. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, who do you think is gonna start at QB week one? Oh Wilson, hundred percent. And then I think Russell will do good this year, but. They do. They definitely want to see Fields, so I don't know. But I, Wilson will definitely start. Mm, okay. Do you think that Fields is going to be on the kickoff team? <laughs> I was jokingly saying, like, kind of hope he does, but I, just because it'd be cool. Like, just I feel it's good, but I don't want him to get hurt. So no. But it would be cool to see him return kicks. Colin Bell forty two asks, "What was your favorite edit you've ever made?" It's a, yeah. It's a hard question. It's just the next one. Like, it's I know it's like wild to say that, but I do have some like not off the top of my head. Definitely like that I watch. I'll rewatch a couple times like here and there. But I'm like that was definitely a good one. Like I like that one a lot. Um, recently, the sketch edit I made the, uh, when he announced the draft and one just I like this football. is football. Yeah, yeah this football. that was like I literally remember sending to my friend. I a voice. I probably still have it. I was like. I kind of want to play it, but I don't want to. F- it's gonna be hard to find. If I find it, maybe I can send you or something. But it was like, if this doesn't do well, I don't know what I'm doing. Because I remember watching it back. I'm like, this has everything. It has a viral song, has sketch in it. It's my brand. It's hard hits, hits, whatever. It's like vibey. It's on beat. It's quick, fast paced. I'm like, this doesn't do well. Something's wrong. And it eventually got like, I think it almost has like a million views now, which is good, especially for off season. April con- or May content, that's hard. Especially for, we know, like, creators like us, football in the offseason is hard because no one talks about, like, it's just different. Dog Days of Summer is hard. So, um, yeah, that one was one of my favorites recently. I love the Tom Brady one. Like, my pin videos on TikTok, like, the Tom Brady one video I liked a lot. Ray Lewis posted my, one of my videos of him. That one I liked a lot when, like, he's like, it's a physical game, you can't play physical anymore. Uh, I like that one a lot. Um, but, yeah, it's hard because I have, I've made so many that like it's so hard to like look back on, but usually like easy answer the next one, which is kind of cringe, but it's true. Like I just, I always like enjoy making the next one. That's what keeps me going. King BD, I don't know how you say his name. <laughs> King K Edits, or nice King King Edits. King K, no no King KB Edits. Oh, there we go. 
asks you what are your quality settings. Oh, this is another easy one. I don't know what that means. I never understood what that meant. Because I always been going for like other people. Like, when I first started, I didn't use anything. It would just be raw clips. And I'd be like, how do these guys make it look like probably what they're asking about me? And like, how do they do it? And then I stumbled across Magic Bullet Looks. I don't know if anyone knows what that is, but it's in Premiere. It's a plugin where you can kind of color your own. You can. It's a lot bigger uh, range of color, like coloring and making it look different in your style. So I found that. And then I played around with that, and then literally I haven't changed it since 2021. I've literally just been using it the whole time, and that's all it is. It's not like quality settings, and the only reason I never like really released what it is is because then everyone's gonna use it, and then everyone looks like my videos. It's kind of weird. So like, but it's good to not know it because then it branches their creativity. Like, oh, how can I make it like Burgess's? This? And then they make it in their own way. So it, it works out, but it, it's nothing crazy. It's just I use Magic Bullet looks on uh, Premiere Pro, but you don't have to use Magic Bullet looks at all. Cause now CapCut, I don't use CapCut, but the things I see on CapCut, you could do more stuff on CapCut than like Premiere. So if people were like, oh, I don't have Premiere, like you don't need to add it on Premiere. Like CapCut's really good and it's free. So, but, and I'm not even trying to like, I don't have like anything tied with CapCut, but it's it, nothing with Premiere, like any editing app, you can use now. It's it's crazy. Yeah, you don't need Premiere. No, no, not at all. CapCut, nope. anything. Yeah, CapCut free, anything. Yeah, you can even use TikTok now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh yeah, um, Trippy Kicka. We just interviewed him in Baltimore yesterday. Mm -hmm. He was asking, um, do you remember this one play when Najee? It was against the Ravens, 2022, when he snatched. Yeah, his yeah, fans that was chain. his. Yeah, that was his. That's crazy. That was him. <laughs> so I, I do went, remember that. I think I made like four edits on that. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, what do you think about that? What, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like, what was your reaction? I was like? hilarious. I was dying. I think I was laughing hard because I that was when they won. Yeah, oh, and weird. that was uh, yeah, they they the Kenny dot of a throw. That was crazy. Oh, that was when gosh. Kenny was like clutch for no reason. Um, know. that was awesome. I remember watching that game in my bed, stressing. That was like probably it's always the Raven Steeler games. They always get me going. I don't know why, but and I think I had, yeah, that was that was that got me going. I remember seeing that and then seeing the picture after. I was like, I gotta make it edit. That's so funny. That's him. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, we talked. We talked. We asked him like yesterday. <laughs> That's crazy. Who do you think is the most underrated player in the league? That's what Jaden L underscore two asked. Pickens. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> of course. Underrated. All right, non stealer Warren. Jalen Jalen Warren. I love his game. Like love. It's crazy. I don't glaze him. Like glaze. He is like good to me. Like I really like his game. But NFL, I would say. It's a hard question because I really don't like underrated. I'm trying to think like receiver or running back. I really don't have one. Who would you go? Who would, who would be your underrated guy? Shoot, underrated. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it counts, but I would low say Odell. I feel like now, yeah. I, was, just, I actually had a video idea on that. I was gonna do a whole like thing on Odell, but I just scrapped it. Maybe I'll come back to it. But yeah, yeah I could see that. Yeah, like I don't have like an underrated. I don't know. I really yeah, don't it's know. Hard it's so to hard ask. to rate people now because social media too. It's like uh -huh. if you're seeing them on social media, they're probably not underrated. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So it's it's tough, but I don't know. That's I think a good you question. can only ask that if you know like your team basically, and you know like yeah, that's, that's why I say Warren because not yeah. a lot of people know Warren. Now they do a little bit, but. Back then, like last before this year, no one really knew him. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I really like his game. He's he's fun to watch. Yeah. I like Najee too, but I like both of them. I just say Odell because I feel like if he's in the right position, like yeah, no, that makes sense. It just sucks he's getting older and like yeah. the injuries pile up. But yeah, you're right. It was so frustrating watching last season because I was literally oh, yeah, and the Ravens. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would literally watch him like every single play, like to see where he's at, and he just wouldn't be in the game. Like they would, yeah, he'd be on the sideline and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, the Ravens are weird yeah. last year. Yeah. I said I won a Super Bowl. Bro. Yeah, it's crazy. I still, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I still don't understand. I thought they were gonna win. That was my whole. That was my team. Not like cheering for them, but I thought they were gonna win. Yeah. So does so Robbie Hammer, Robbie Hamel fourteen asks, does Burgess have a Pickens jersey? I do not. What? I know. I don't have. I don't really wear jerseys like that. I gotta start getting them because like. Unless I make like like if I like streamed or something like uh, games or whatever, I would probably get a Pickens jersey. But I don't like. I don't know where I'd wear a picking jersey too. You know what I mean? So like, I don't have one, but I have like a Steeler hat. Um, I have that little Steeler like uh, cap thing that I've worn in my like the QB video. <laughs> um, I have Steeler sweat. I like sweatshirts. Like I'm, I like more shirts and sweatshirts. Like jerseys are tough because like you only kind of like. I've never been a. I, I was when I was younger, I was a big jersey guy, but I wouldn't wear them. I would just collect them. So then like I was like, well, I stopped collecting them. So I'm like, probably shouldn't buy them anymore. Like it's kind of you know what I mean because I didn't wear them. But yeah, if I ever started, the two guys I would get would be Warren and uh, Pickens, hundred percent. M Cortez five five nine asks uh, that your second favorite team is the Raiders and why is that? 
It's not. Actually, is that, okay, no. I wasn't sure. I don't have a second favorite team. That's what I thought. I was like, what? They always think it's the Seahawks. <laughs> but like I said, it goes back to it just the style editing, like Cam and now Witherspoon. Um, I don't know why. Someone else is Seahawks. I always just make like Legion of Boom edits, but I, I don't have a second favorite team. You can't have a second yeah, favorite no, team. Yeah, no, it makes no sense. I never understood when people were like, oh, I'm cheering for the Bengals. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> AFA Tyler, shout out him. He said, why does George Pickens look better in a Ravens jersey than a Steelers jersey? He doesn't. I've, he never, does. I've never seen him in a Ravens jersey. <laughs> I've seen a jersey swap. I've never seen it. I, I, maybe he does, but I, I've never seen it. He looked good in black and gold, I'm just saying. So I don't know. But I've never seen him in uh, purple and, was it gold? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't look that good in it. Black and gold suits better. After George Pickens turns into AB and demands Oof. a trade, he's going to be in. Dude, I love him. AB. I loved AB. Like, my, like, he was my guy. I always made the connection with, like, him and Steph Curry, which is so weird. But when Steph Curry in, like, 2016, 2017 would shoot, you'd always thought it was going in. For A.B., if Ben would throw it and it was a go ball, he's catching Like, every time he threw it, I'm like, he's catching it. And then he just, like, I don't know. I mean, maybe something behind the scenes happened with the Steelers and him. But once he left, I was like, damn, that sucks. And he was so good. Like, so good. I knew the Steelers were going to hurt without him. And they did. And then Ben got hurt. And then it was just a whatever. But... He was like, for a while, he was like top five receiver, or top five, well, he actually is a top five receiver to me, but he was like a top five Steeler player for me all time, like easily. He probably still is, but, but he was up there. It was so random, like how it just ended. It was just it was like, so I, weird. And like the Juju yeah. thing and him just like kind of coming at Juju, I was like, this is so weird. Like, where's yeah. this even coming from? And then, because everyone always says the Vontaze hit, but it wasn't like, that was in 2015. Mm -hmm. Like that was all in 2019. It wasn't like, so he, something had to happen. I don't know. He's probably always like kind of a little bit arrogant, but he had you have to be as a receiver in anything. Really, you have to be like believing yourself. So, I don't know. It sucked, but yeah. And then he just kind of spiraled out, and that was it. <laughs> it's funny because when I was making the 2018 Steelers thing, and I was oh, like, oh, that hurt. I remember, <laughs> I remember that season. That was like I remember that season. <laughs> My favorite Ravens season because I remember like y'all were up, and then we weren't doing good with Flacco, and then Lamar went in. We started going on a run, and then for y'all were losing like every game. And it, it was, was crazy, bro. They were losing like, the Broncos, Raiders. I remember going to like. Some burger place, and I've, I looked at the score of the Bronco game. Like, how are they losing the two and six Bronco or some crazy? It was so Steelers. Like, it, my me and my dad always joke. Like, it's so Steelers now. From like 2010 up, they just have always been that way. Like, they'll start out hot, or they'll start out, start out really bad, and then they'll just come even every time. It's it's crazy. It's every season. It's so, I'm so used to it now. And then even when they had a good year, when they were 13 three, and then they just got their doors blown open by the Jags at home. It was crazy, which never should have happened because they should have been the one seed because Jesse James caught the ball. But it's crazy. I don't know. It, it's, it happens every year. And, now, and Tomlin's like a good coach. It makes no – it doesn't make any sense. It's crazy, but I don't know. Jafar underscores says, can CJ Stroud be an MVP candidate this 100%, year? 100%. Yeah, 100%. That's an easy question. <laughs> yeah, that, no, I mean, that's easy. He's the weapons and the team, so 100%. Not exactly. Ooh. Underscore – I, I can't even read it. I'll put it on the screen. But <laughs> yeah, George Pickens, yeah, George Pickens, and, and Antonio Brown or Jamar Chase and Ocho Cinco. You know my answer to Pickens, because <laughs> Antonio Brown is the greatest receiver like in Steeler history, in my opinion, top five all time. So our, he already has both them beat, and then Pickens is gonna get there eventually, hopefully. So that's that's how I would answer that. Oh, one hundred percent. And yeah, that's, that's it? it. Yeah, cool. But. Appreciate everybody that's watching. Um, yeah, it was it was really great. Uh, Burgess Pride, if you <laughs> like it, make sure to subscribe and let me know what other content you want to see. And uh, yeah, we out. Cool. That's good. Yeah. All right. Cool. It. That was fun. I've never done that, so that was fun. <laughs> yeah, man. That's good. This is only like my third time doing it. Either, yeah, it's so. crazy. I, I being in your position is hard. I mean, I don't know how. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. That was fun.